Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 47 of the Red Force Podcast. My name is Eric Tolado. Joining me today is Christian Tolado. What have we done? Christian. What have we done? Today's episode is on Thriller Bark. Pretty good time to do Thriller Bark since we're in Wano. You know, heaps you know, of Wano connections, heaps of secrets. There we go. Uh, is this talk really long? Yes. Uh, Settle in. Let me give you some stats on how fat... This stack of stack of notes is sixteen pages. Yeah. Uh, five thousand words for the recap. Uh could this be the longest episode yet? We'll see, Christian. Don't forget that we still have to talk about Luffy's fight in Wano, which is basically how Luffy defeats Kaido. There we go. Uh we got the strongest chance with power scale. Questions. Questions. The whole shebang, Christian. Yeah. Only the hardcore. We'll watch this episode. We'll watch all this episode. That will give the code. No, don't tell them. We'll give we'll, the code. No, yeah, word I was gonna it. say we're gonna give the code word at the end, obviously. No, because then they'll skip to the end. We'll, we'll hide it. Somewhere. We'll hit the codes in here and there. Oh, these are only the hardcore Christian. We'll watch this episode this week. Uh, what happened this week, Christian? Uh, first, the inaugural episode of Neck to Neck on the uh, on Drutz's channel. Yep. Good discussion on Carter's backstory. Yep. Trying to work it out. Yep. I think we found some answers. Mate, I watched it. So if you want to find out, go find out. I watched it. Yeah. I thought you were a bit soft on it. Alright, I thought you were a bit soft. I think you were holding back. Of course I was holding back. Let the boy know what your hockey is, alright? Christian, it's not about finding other people. No, it's about a, a, a discussion. Alright, sure. you can't just hold back when blasphemy is happening. But you would ha- you would have to change his entire outlook on life, oh, and what and what whole cake island means, Christian. And we don't have the time to do that. We don't. So you know. Alright. Uh, well, World Seeker footage, Christian. The game's looking better. Finally, looking, looking somewhat coming out March. Promising. Took some time. So took some extra time. Yeah. Got some extra features in there. There is a lock on, which I was worried about. Okay. I did see a lock on. Very good. I think the best part of this game is going to be the boss fights. That's okay. what I think the best part of this game is going to be. It's, it just looks basic and as fuck, though. No, if you if you look at the LK Unify, and if the, if you're playing on a... I think you have to play this game on a hard difficulty to yeah. get, like, to use all the systems instead of just running around button mapping. Alright. So, yeah, we get to see Gear 4. Uh, you can run around in Gear 4. First game you can actually do this in. Mm-hmm. Running around in gear four. So look looks probably looks looks looking better than ever. Hope it's good. I'm more intrigued than I was before, Christian. Exactly. You wanna talk about that Kong Organ or Yeah. I made myself known on Twitter. Kong Organ. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Follow him if you can find him on Twitter, Christian. Follow me if you can find me. It's after images. Alright? Enough said. Alright. Enough said. Now Christian. Thriller Bark, should we get into it? Let's tackle this beast. <laughs> Christian, Thriller Bark, volume what? 46? We start on 45? 46 to 50. Yeah. Full volumes. They're huge volumes as well. Fucking five fat volumes. They're fat, they're fat boys. They are fat boys. Definitely. Uh... Interesting. Do you wanna do you wanna just general thoughts, Christian? General thoughts. Good arc, with heaps of fights, heaps of cool attacks. Problem with the arc, the villains suck. Yeah. That's the problem with the arc. Okay. We'll get into it. But I was reading through it. I, I'm I'm flicking through this chapter. I'm like, how many pages is this chapter? It was like twenty five ch- pages. Mm. What? Were, Back when Oda did fat paid chapters, Christian. Back when Oda did fat as fuck chapters. Yeah. Filled with good art, amazing kind of choreography we'll get into. Really good fight arc, which is maybe one of its downsides because why it's so long. Mm. They're like random fights and shit, but you know, we'll get into it. I feel like it also serves as like a... It's kind of in a weird position because like Marineford's about to start. Yeah. So it's kind of like teeing that up. In a way. Yeah. yeah. But anyway. Alright. Chapter 442. 
Oh, uh, the crew's just fucking around, you know, checking out the new features of the Sunny. Yep. They just get the ship. So, you know, uh, the different docks, the different areas, okay. the fishing tank. Yep. Luffy catches a shark, they throw it in there, whatever. Having a fun time on the Sunny. Good times. Uh, they bring out the... They, what do they do? They, they, they fuck around. Yep. Zoro in a crow's nest spots a mysterious barrel. Usopp just doesn't want to open it because it says offering to a god. Yeah. Guess what? Zoro prays to no god. That's right. And he opens it. Uh, it's a trap. It's a signal flare. Zoro, come on. Obvious trap. Okay. What are you doing? They assume that it's alcohol because like it's an offering so Zoro wants to drink it. Yeah. So there you go. Zoro prays to no god. Right? As we found out in Skypea. And he saw the devil in this arc. Sure. Well, I mean, we'll get to that hype moment. Alright. Alright. You know, uh, a signal flare, and then a storm rolls in. You know, the Swanky deploys the paddles. Yep. They start paddling into... Paddles would have been useful in Hulk Island. Fog area. Jibei's a master navigator. Of Ma- the currents. Ma- master navigator of the currents. Master help him. Doesn't, need, doesn't need the paddles. Okay. We ran out of cola, so we don't have cola. So. Alright. Can't use the paddles. Uh, as soon as Usopp starts to get scared about the fog, the Florian Triangle, Frankie yeah. starts telling them about the Florian Triangle that was close to Water 7. Yeah. There's there's myths, there's legends about ghost ships, ghosts. Sanji's fucking around. Sanji's fucking around telling stories to Usopp, Usopp's freaking <laughs> out. He's got a lighter under his face. Yeah. Or a match. Classic antics, Christian. Where and are then, these? Where are the antics? Oh, no, antics. We're time for antics. We're going to take down Kaido. Uh, no time yeah. for antics. Anyway, a, a ghost ship comes out of nowhere. Mm. Usopp freaking out. A ghost ship appears. Another arc where we start off by finding something in the water. It's classic One Piece. Classic. We just fuck around, do whatever we want, run into something. Yep. And a massive event happens. Uh, the crew to take a look at the ship. They see a person on there. First look at Brooke. They want to check it out. Alright. We get introduced to Brooke, he immediately cracks his, a skull joke and yep. asks Nami to see her panties. We instantly know what Brooke's about. Welcome, Brooke. Welcome, Brooke. Luffy asks Brooke to join his crew instantly. There we go. There it is. First chapter of the arc. We no get a new crew member. It, right? Starts immediately. Yeah. Alright. Next chapter. Chapter 443. Chopper and Usopp are scared shitless of Brooke. Yep. Right, they think he's a demon, they think he's a ghost, he's a foul spirit. Zoro's also kind of pissed off, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why are you bringing people on the ship? Uh, they go inside to eat. Brooke is pissing off Sanji with his terrible table manners. Okay. Terrible table manners. Fighting at the table. Screaming for dinner. Screaming for food. Asking uh, for Robin's uh, meal. Brooke is crazy. Alright. Alright, first time I've seen people in a long time. Yep. He's crazy. Brooke explains his fruit, you know, he died while wandering around the spirit for a year and came back to his body, you know, all that kind of stuff. Brooke tells, you know, the crew that someone stole his shadow and that it's unrelated to him being a skeleton. Yeah. Brooke goes dark and tells the crew how lonely he was and how he wanted to die for decades. Oh. Uh-huh. Brooke goes dark. Satisfying backstory. I mean, we'll get into the backstory at the end of the arc. Yeah. Would you really appreciate the flashback here? Because the flashback happens after all the action's done. Sure. But, I don't know. Because we get little hints of it. Well, then he fucks off, so, like, it wouldn't... Like, True. when he joins the crew, we'll get his flashback. I guess, like, so the whole thing... So we get attached to it. I guess the whole thing is, like, is Brooke actually going to join the crew? Yeah. I guess that's the whole thing. Uh, Luffy offers Brooke to get his shadow back, but Brooke's like, you can't do it. Uh, you're going to get yourself killed if you try and get my shadow back. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't want to put people in danger. Uh, Brooke can't leave until he gets his shadow back or else he'll disintegrate. You know, uh, what are the... <sighs> and then we get one of Perona's ghosts just flying through the ship. Yeah. And it turns out that they've been sucked into the Thriller Bark. Biggest ship on the planet... On the planet. Yep. Massive. Huge. On level, on level ship. How did Mori get this ship? 
It's all it's all in little ship. Big big ship. Massive ship. Bigger ship. I mean they they confirm it. Straight up biggest ship. Uh-huh. Ever made. So apparently the ship came from the West Blue and ended up in the Grand Line. Now surely it crossed the combat. The combat. Yeah, it didn't go up the reverse mountain. Didn't go up the reverse mountain. Too big to get fucked up. I don't know about that. Maybe more just some bullshit. Who knows? All right. Because they'll have sea stone on the bottom. So why wouldn't the the fucking sea kings just fuck up the the bow? Our right, Mori ships makes no sense. It, that's the least of its problems, Christian, getting to the calm belt. It's fucking massive. Yeah. It's heavy as fuck. It's full of water. How does this shit float? Yeah. So, a whole bunch of shit there. Uh, Brooke, Brooke pulls out a violin and he says he's a musician. Now, R- Luffy really wants Joe Brooke to go and join the crew. The first person he wanted was a musician. Indeed. Luffy wants Brooke in the crew. Anyway, uh, now that they're in this little bark, Brooke decides to run off and get his shadow back. He could run on water cushion. He's light. He's very light. Chapter 444. Robin explains how the island is the world's giant ship. About, you know, the fucking mouth, how it's shut, and how they're stuck. They can't get out. Yep. So they're going to have to dock somewhere, but there's nowhere to dock. Uh, Luffy wants to go on the island to get Brooke and catch some ghosts. He's looking for the, a pet ghost, Christian. He wants a ghost, so bad. Frankie unveils a mini Mary. Yep. And Usopp and Nami and Chopper take her for a ride. Uh, he also shows the other vehicles. The the bike, the other Mary. The seahorse. The seahorse, yes, the bike, whatever. The, sh- the submarine shark. We now get attacked by Absalom. Starts fucking with the crew, we doing the antics. It's just an What's going invisible on? thing. Invisible man. Uh, Licks Robin. Appears to be some kind of beast at first. Licks Robin. Sanji gets mad. You know. A whole bunch of waves hit the ship, but the crew gets separated from the Mini Mary. Yeah. Nami Chopper and Usopp crash the Mini Mary into the moat and yeah. fall into Thriller Bark. Uh, you know, they're scared. Uh, the Cerberus starts to chase them. They get worked up. They start running. They end up within the full full of bark area, we get a massive double page spread with tremendous tone work. This arc, beautiful. Yep. Beautiful tone work. Architecture, very nice as well. 10 out of 10 tone work. Beautiful. Heaps of blacks. You understand, Christian, that it's night time. Very rarely do you get... And it's under thick fog cover. Does it translate that scenes at night because people don't want to do it properly? Sure. But then again... Christian, the whole ninja war was at night. But then again... Shadows don't work like that at night. It's not like it's fire. It's dark, but like... The, the contrast... Moonlight, whatever. The contrast is high. The contrast is really high. But it works. But it works. You get, you get the feel of the arc. It's dark. It's gloomy. Sure. Whole bunch of weird shit going on. All that kind of stuff. The crew get taken away in a carriage to Dr. Hogback's mansion. Via Hildon. Via yeah, the Batman. The Batman. Next chapter, chapter four, four, five. The crew is in the carriage, being taken to Hogback's mansion. Yeah. Chopper, you know, he starts telling the story about Hogback. Yeah. He's a master surgeon, famous surgeon around the world. You know. Uh, they see some zombies outside. Mm-hmm. Which which is better, the zombies or the homies? From Hogback Gold. Zombies. I feel like the zombies are more creative. And they've yeah. got more expressions. And they're funnier. It's a little bark, very good on the comedy. Yeah. Very good comedy arc. You got weird trees with faces. Mm. Weird, like, unicorn men. Yeah. All kinds of weird shit. I, I enjoy the zombies. Or this arc. Right. So, what are your thoughts on this whole hogback thing? What, the, the whole is story of the Hogback? The or? whole Cindery, Hogback, blah, blah, blah. It's too much. I get it. Yeah, it's not really working for me. The mystery of Cindery and Hogback's relationship, what's going on, and working out what the zombies are. It's kind of for... It's, 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 it's for Chopper to give his speech about what 
Medicine is what human beings are. On sure, at the but end. do we need like five different encounters with Hogback? No. That's the problem. We keep on. No one gets defeated in this arc. They keep on getting. They keep on escaping. They keep on prolonging it. Except Moria, but yeah. Well, Moria doesn't. It, Moria just sits there for like ages. Yeah. Does nothing. So, there's a problem with this arc that we'll probably get into around the end, where it's gonna lose some points because it's. It's a it's a good arc, but God, it's too long. Yeah. But. So we get to see some zombies. Nami asks Hildum to stop the carriage. They, they they feel weird. They don't feel right. Yeah. It was a trap the whole time. Hildum led them into a trap. The crew is attacked by zombies. Usopp uses his fire star and allows them to escape. Zombies are weak to fire. Yeah, the comedy's top notch here. Yeah. You know, they start freaking out. The faces, the faces everything. The expressions. The crying, yeah. everything. Uh, you know, they run, and then they arrive at Hobak's mansion. Next chapter. They go inside. Sindri starts by just sort of piffing plates at Ubsal's face. Never really understand the whole plate thing. I don't know. Alright. Something to do with, like, service and that kind of shit. She but did like, her... We'll she's get, rebellious. We'll right, we're like... Whatever. Right. Uh, Cinderella's weird as fuck. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense when it comes to Mori's powers. Good comedy, though. Sure. Front. Usopp just fucking cops a plate to the face. Yeah. Classic Usopp. Just gets fucked up this arc. Usopp is the master getting fucked up. Usopp has the highest durability, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He just keeps getting fucked up. I mean, he gets pummeled every hour. He gets pummeled out. He's got heaps of training in it. Alright. Alright. So, you know, Usopp just cops a plate to the face. Uh, where are we? He keeps on getting copped in the face. And then, you know, Hogback introduces them. Yeah. And he stops Cinderi from throwing plates. Mm-hmm. Literally throws them anyway. <laughs> uh, it's a good game. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Usopp just keeps getting yeah, planted. She doesn't like plates, Christian. Yeah. Just like men or plates. Alright. Right? So then, uh, you know, Hogback takes him inside. You know, uh, Hogback wishes to bring back the dead with his research. Chopper at first is amazed by this. Uh, you know, that's an amazing goal. How are you going to do it? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Chopper. No one, no, after all that shit, no one is allowed to look into his lab. Yeah. And then we cut over. Nami is having a shower while Usopp and Chopper are keeping guard. Nami knows something is up, alright? She doesn't trust this place. Yeah. There's fucking freaks everywhere. She there's zombies everywhere. Walls Chopper's are alive. getting upset because she's, uh, yeah. dissing the hog back. Yeah. Can't have that. Uh, apparently Chopper not interested in human women. Yeah. And, uh, Usopp's just being a nice guy. Alright. There's a funny game with Usopp coming up. Alright. Uh, and then, you know, Absalom just assaults an army. Uh-huh. And I already hate him. I already hate him. Now, people argue this is fan service. It's not fan service. <laughs> Slash sexism on Oda's part. How is this fan service? He's a villain. He's a villain. You're supposed to hate him. He gets beaten. I don't know. Is this fan service? How is sexual assault fan service? Uh-huh. That's my question. How's that fan service? There you go. It's supposed to be disturbing. He's supposed to be unsettled by it. And he's supposed to hate his character. Yes. So, there you go. Uh, Nami manages to kick Absalom in the balls and call Chopper and Usopp into the room. Usopp runs into the room and instantly thanks Nami for getting to see her naked. Yeah. That was pretty funny. (laughs) (laughs) Usopp's uh, not the not the previous one on the crew. But, but he, he appreciates he's a male. It. He appreciates He appreciates it. the female figure. Yeah. Uh, Luffy, and then we, you know, Absalom runs out the window, U- Usopp shoots him, shoots yeah. at him, he's escaped. There's like, there's some sort of invisible man. Yeah. Whatever. Luffy and the rest of the gang arrive on the island as the ship got stuck in a web. Luffy wants to, Luffy just sees the service, he wants to eat it. Yeah. The contrast between the weak trio... And the monster trio. And the monster trio with the mid, mid trio. It's pretty funny. They just fuck everyone up. Luffy tries to tame the uh, Cerberus nicely, but the Cerberus bites him and Luffy just punches him in the head. Yeah. And now, Luffy tamed the Cerberus. 
Uh, Luffy's just fucking around, you know, fucking around uh, full of bark. Looking around the forest. He sees a tree, he grabs it, tells him he captured him, and he wants him to join his crew. Yeah. Classic Luffy. Loves to see these zombies. Excited about it, catching a ghost. Indeed. Usopp. Uh, back at back back at Hogback's Manor. Uh, Hogback is talking to Perona about the Straw Hats and to deal with them. Usopp is downing all the supernatural events. Right? What? Yeah. What? An invisible man makes no sense. What are you talking about? There's no invisible man. Yeah. Uh, Chopper is defending Hogback. They are attacked by the furniture and stumble into Hogback's secret room. Classic. The Cindery Shrine. Yeah. Alright. Next chapter. Nami found out that Cindery died 10 years ago, but how is she alive? They're attacked by zombies again. And, Run. Uh, Ryuma starts going after them. Alright, back to Luffy. Luffy's crew was attacked by, by, by the zombies, or attacked by the ghosts. Yep. And we get to see the negative powers in action. These negative powers are broken. Pretty good. Alright, instantly pretty, pretty good. Knocking, knocking down the crew. Yeah. Uh, we're going negative ghosts. Then, you know, for some reason she goes away. Uh, Luffy pushes a zombie back into the ground. Classic gag. <laughs> what does he say? He's uh, an old man with uh, severe, severe, injuries. severe injuries. Just pushes him back into the ground. Yeah. Classic gag. So then, uh, you know, they're all attacked by zombies, and they do a combo attack to clear all the zombies. Just for a complete contrast, Christian. Enjoyable. Weak trio just running and screaming and hiding. Yep. Strong trio just, like, fucked them all up. Yep. What the fuck are you doing? Alright. So, you know, they, they, they defeat all the zombies, and they run into... Uh, a zombie. A zombie that's... Turns out... Turns out not... A zombie. It's an old man with uh, severe, injuries. severe injuries. Classic So, Usopp, Usopp called it. Classic. Well, Luffy called it. Oda. With this shit. So, Hilarious. basically he's telling him that, you know, without the shadows, people are going to die. Moria is the problem. Yeah, you got to beat him. Got to get Brook Shadow back. All that kind of shit. So, then, you know. Funny how when, like, it, they're impossible odds. Yeah. Everyone says they're impossible odds, and Luffy says I'm going to beat him like 19 times, and then he beats him. Yeah. Funny how that happens. Yeah. Just saying. Uh, it turns out Robin knows who he is, and he is one of the seven warlords of the sea. Great. Luffy says it's just going to be like Crocodile, and everyone's like, he almost killed you. He's like, yeah. <laughs> but I won. But I won. He got that W. He did get that W. Alright, next chapter. Luffy agrees to help the zombie... Meanwhile, back in the, na- in the manor, Nami and Ko have found Hobak's lab. They found out that he's making zombies. Too bad that Ryuma turns up and one-shots them all. Yep. You know, he breaks the down, sending Nami in- into the lab. Roasted them. Just one-shot them. Yep. Done. Uh, apparently, the night hunt is beginning. Where they're going to go capture the Straw Hats to get the powerful shadows. We finally get to see Moro for the first time. He's huge. He's massive. As big as Kuma. As big as Kuma. Uh, some might say as big as Kaido from the last chapter. Because no one knows how big no, Kaido no, no, is. man. Kaido's scale's fucking weird. No one knows how big Kaido is. We'll see. Because there's that scene where he's walking down the street. Yeah. And he doesn't look like that big. He's like four times taller than like a goon. Yeah. It's weird. Right? How, big is, how big is Kaido? No one knows. Yeah. We get to see... You know, the full ship it, in its massive glory. We get to find out that it's actually a ship. It's the yeah. world's biggest ship. It's got it's got masts. It's got sails. It's massive. All right, whatever. Well, who cares about that? Abazon reveals all the zombie troops. Uh, Prono is doing the same thing. They're rallying all the troops. And Luffy and Co. just run into the manor. Yeah. Next chapter. Lamy and Co. confront the back. Ruba comes in one shots him here. Yeah. He is from Wano country, and is and the legend is that he killed the dragon. Here we go. The Wano, Wano hype. hype starts almost instantly off the bat. Indeed. He's Indeed. a legendary samurai. Legend has it he slayed the dragon. Sure. Crazy. 
Alright, so then Luffy and Kyrie just burst into the manor and start kicking heads in. Yep. The room with all the fucking zombies and sure. defeat them all. Uh, we got a whole bunch of cool looking clashes. And uh, Sanji got captured first. Okay. What a surprise. He just fucked off as well. Disappeared. You find that he got captured because of this stupid penguin. Yeah. It, it's strange. Abzuan, uh goes to wake up the big bad zombie generals, which really don't pay off. Yeah, they're just kind of there. It's kind of there. Spider Monkey's the only real thing. Yeah, Spider happens. Monkey only, is the only one that pays off. Captain John, shout out. One of the generals is Captain John. There we go. But he, uh, he does Captain nothing. John's treasure. Does nothing, it says nothing. Buggy's goal. He's just there. Does nothing, says nothing. Indeed. So. There we go. Just, is, a, just a little, just a little flavor. This is the first time we get to see Lola's shadow thing. Yep. And she wants to get married so bad. Lola is going to go after Nami for Absalon's love. She wants to marry Absalon. Sure. This whole Absalon plotline. Strange. Strange, and we'll get into it at the end. And what I think should have happened to it. Alright. So, you know, Lola wants to get married, all that kind of shit. Uh, kind of relates back to the whole Cake Island thing, retrospectively, yep. I guess. So the Straw Hat crew, the, the weak Straw Hats are getting transported into a coffin to go to Moria to get the shadows taken. Yep. Uh, Chopper breaks out of the c- uh, coffin and saves uh, Nami and Usopp. Nami works out where they are and, and wants to go to the treasure chamber. Get that treasure. There's only three penguins. Introduce themselves and tell them they're in Perona's Wonder Garden. A koala guy screams to beat them to a bloody pulp. Yeah. This koala guy is savage. Uh-huh. Most savage character in Fuller Bark. Beat them to a bloody pulp. He's got tiny little beady eyes. He's got a little knife. Little koala man. Little koala man crazy. Uh, Usopp and Chopper get dominated. Who would have thought? Yeah. You know? uh, Chopper gets hit by a steel ball. Pretty sure Usopp just gets kicked in the head. <laughs> yeah, classic Usopp, just getting uh, kicked in the head. Nami's about to get hit, and then the, the Sanji penguin saves Nami. Yeah. Cut back to Luffy and Co. walking through the castle, and now Zoro's gone. Where did Zoro go? Got captured. Next chapter. Luffy got some armor, and he's proud of himself. He loves armor. He loves the armor. Every man's dream is to, f- to wear armor. Okay. Well, that kind of, you know, manly shit. Robots. Uh, then, a random zombie general falls from the ceiling and decides to fight Frankie for five pages. Alright. Christian, we're gonna get to know Frankie, alright? We already saw him in Water 7. Yes. We saw everything he can do. When he do. fought the Galleon Company and Luffy. For, for Luffy, he also showed a lot when he fought uh, Fukuro. And, uh, what the fuck, Nero. On the Nero, train he's well. shown what he can do. We get a five-page p- fight... Of Frankie fighting a random guy who doesn't Random dude in armor. Alright. Weird, strange. I don't know why it's here, but it's here. Funny how this uh, in this arc that, like, Frankie and Brooke are, like, comparable to the Monster Trio in some way. And Robin. Yeah. No, Robin's there the whole time doing things. Yeah, she does things. But Crazy. It, you know, she, she's doing her classic stuff. She's not really, like, I'm... I could be... In a legitimate fight with like Sanji and shit, you know? That's crazy, that's a crazy call. They're good, they're good in this arc at least. Brooke and Frankie. The problem with Frankie is he doesn't have like the physical feats that like Sanji's already have at this point. He's got like, good yeah. weapons, that kind of stuff. He's not like kicking buildings, but he is, does have pillar nunchucks. That's true, he does so. have pillar nunchucks, which we're, we're about to get to. Alright. We get introduced to. Uh, Ziggoro yep. of the Wind, a Zoro shadow. What so, a wasted shadow. All these, like, zombies are wasted. You put nothing. Zoro's shadow into Ryuma, you got problems. <laughs> you got serious problems, right? For a straight out crew. Yeah. Uh, you know, Luffy, Frankie, Robin have to fight a horde of zombie generals. You know, more fights, more clashes. Mm-hmm. More cool pa- panels of fighting, fights happening. Yep. Turns out Luffy gets grabbed, uh, gets transported away into a coffin. Uh, how do you, how do we pronounce this? Tal Tal Taloran, the Spider Monkey, sure. blocks their path. Next chapter, the Sangu pe- Penguin is protecting Nami. 
Yeah. Because of Sanji. Lola comes in and attacks Nami, but she is saved by the penguin. Lola instantly just destroys this penguin and goes after Nami. Alpha Sanji. Al- another Alpha Sanji shadow. Sure. An L. No doubt. Uh, so then, more Lola shit. Yeah. You know, Nami, you know, is grabbed by Absalon again, but escapes using a thunder tempo. Absalon blasts a penguin. Uh, you know. This Absalon thing goes on for way too long. Yeah, it does. It should have ended the first time. It just keeps on going, keeps on going, keeps on going. Yeah. <laughs> Even after Sanji beats him. Even after Sanji beats him, it keeps on going. Yeah. <laughs> just never ends. Alright. Nami gets great. I already said that. Alright, back to the spider fight. Frankie blows the bridge with a coup de vent yep. and uses Robin's wings to fly for five seconds to get across. Frankie hook shots over, but doesn't quite make it, slams into the wall. Yep. But, Ro- but Robin makes it across. Uh, and then Brooke comes crashing in. Uh-huh. Out of the sky. Next chapter. Back to the LOL situation. Nami stops her rampage by telling Lola she is a man. Uh, Chopper is freaked out yeah. by this revelation. He doesn't know what to think. Okay. Uh, Nami gains Lola's favor by saying she has a chance with Absalon. Lola goes after Absalon. No one's okay. ever encouraged her love for Absalon, Christian. Who is this for? Is it just a gag thing? Yeah, but, like, who was this for? I don't know. It's so weird and strange and, and like, annoying that it keeps on cutting to the Lola, Nami, Absalom. Well, you're thinking about the results, right? Sure. We to, get to evaluate. Gold. <laughs> sure. No, but, like, the, the whole Absalom plotline in this arc is kind of just a big gag for Sanji. Yeah. Ultimately. Ultimately, just a gag. Doesn't even lead to anything. Yeah. It's fucking weird. Strange. Alright. Uh, Gains Nami's famer. Usopp, Nami, and Chopper are hiding in Kumasi, which is like Perona's bear thing. Yeah. She doesn't want him to talk. Too deep of a voice. Now, back to the spider fight. We get a cool combo fight with Robin and Frankie. Frankie uses the giant nunchucks and goes to town on the spider's face. Yeah. Beats the fuck out of the spider. Indeed. Won't go down. Because he's a zombie. Yep. Well, will not go down. Because zombies don't feel pain. Uh, Robin thinks he gets caught in the web because there's like mini spiders around. Yep. She was she was caught off guard. And uh, Frankie looks back and then he gets uh, he gets caught. Brooke comes in, dominates the spider with the three knot slash. Kind of. What do you mean? He slashes him sure, and knocks him like, the fuck out. Sure, but I really beats him. Yeah, we'll get into that. Alright. Next chapter. Brooke reveals the zombie's weakness. It's salt. If you pour salt in their mouth, it purifies the spirit and the shadow comes out. Some Probably some Japanese stuff, right? Yeah. No doubt. Brooke explains how zombies are made. You know, hog back, more your shadows. You put the shadow in the body, the body comes alive. Yep. Go explain how everything works. Moria uses his shadow fruit to make these corpses. Alright. Some of the traits of the shadow is passed on is passed on to the body, while some of the body's traits are also still in there. Basically the way he explained it, it's like you gain the skills, but the, the body's physical strength is kept. Of the original owner. And memories? It said personality Maybe? and and traits. Maybe? And memories? Because Cindery at the end. But. Ryuma. Doesn't remember. Ryuma doesn't remember shit. Yeah. Uh, Moira Shadows. Weird. The only thing that confuses the whole thing is Cindery's like body remembering. Yeah. That's like literally some weird shit going on there. And they're like no one will ever know. But we'll get to that. Uh. So, Brooke is happy to finally talk to people. Just a little tidbit. I'm so happy to talk to people. I get to tell my story. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. We get to see Fat Fuck Moria being lazy and unmotivated. 
you know, he doesn't want to do anything. Right. You know, ma- ma- hurry up and make me the Pyro King. Yep. Luffy gets mad and states that he will be the Pyro King. He busts out of the cage and attacks Moria. But Perona stalls him with the negative shadows. Yep. Moria then steals Luffy's shadow. End of the chapter. Brooke explains if the person dies, the shadow also dies. So they have to keep the people alive. So Moria can't kill you. Otherwise, that, he loses his shadow. That's why they send you out to sea. Exactly. They just kick you out. Yeah. And that's why they're hiding in this triangle so they can't be found. No. Moria is building some kind of army. Alright, so Brooke explains that, you know, he's, he's been looking for this place for five years. He's the last survivor of his ship and he's trying to get stronger so he can take his shadow back. Yep. Moria drops Kaido's name. And how he wants to get revenge on him. Right? This is why. 100% in Wano. Uh, but he's, being, strong zombies he's building be. his army to take on Kaido, right? Exactly. Assumably. You can, that's what it says. In the panel. Okay. It says... With this many strong zombies, this time I'm not going to lose to Kaido. So, Moria, 100% in Wano. Well, do you want to talk about the Wano stuff? Do you want to do it now or do you want to do it at the end? Might as well do it now because right. this is like pretty much... For Moria to turn up in Wano, yeah. he had to have the army, right? He sure. wouldn't just turn up by himself. No, he wouldn't turn up with an army. And Absalon and Hogback. Sure. So... Uh, then he'd have to somehow ally with Luffy to get the job done. I mean, he wants Kaido done. All right. He wants Kaido down. Any of my enemies, my and friend. And how, and why is he there? Because he saw the news. Saw the news. Has some sort of intel in Wano. Uh-huh. Uh, it's, he's got, definitely have a Now, does he turn up with the Thriller Bark or does he turn up on the ship that he has at the end? Probably turn, yeah, the Thriller Bark's done. All right. So, he probably turns up with his new ship. Yep. Uh, he disappeared in Marine Fort for some reason. Uh, he's directly connected to Kaido. Would have taken a lot of shadows in Marineford as well. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. so... Clearly. If he's not in Wano, what the fuck's the point of all this build-up and hype? To build up Kaido, I guess. But it's like, why have you survived Marineford? To, to make you think about it. So, will he come back? Will he be stronger? Will he help Luffy? Probably yes. They then get some news that people are running wild. Uh, you know, the Shore Hats are running rampant. Uh, you know, Brooks in here running rampant. He's got the weakness. Mori tells his goons to take care of it. He's too uh, too excited to get this uh, secret zombie on on the way. Mm-hmm. Frankie is running up the stairs, uh, crying about Brooks' sad backstory. And Robin agrees that Brook is a good dude. You know, the, Fra- the Frankie Robin connection. There we go. It's prevalent in this arc. Alright. Now, Brooke confronts Ryuma here. Yeah. This early on in the arc. Okay. Now, how many more chapters do we have a lot? Yeah. Alright? Heap more chapters. Brooke confronts him here. Alright, now Moria is hyping up Oz. And we get to see him. Yeah, the Agent B, Puma, legendary beast. Legendary beast. He's powerful. 500 years ago. He's going to make me the Pyro King. Something like that. With this guy, we could take on Kaido. All this kind of shit. I mean, I don't think so, but... You know. yeah, well, he, he thinks so. Alright. Maybe he fought Kaido when he was weaker. I still got dominated. Sure. Punch his chin. Next chapter. Yeah. Moria infuses ores with Luffy. With Luffy's shadow. With uh, some sort of contract... So, like, the, he, the Shadow obeys him and his yeah. orders. Which is, like, something similar to Sugar's thing. Yeah. But then, like, the, the Shadows kind of have their will of their own. Kind of unruly. It kind of like, takes time for them to, like... It's kind of like the stronger the Shadow, the higher it is to control. Yeah, it takes time for them to fuse properly. Yeah. So, you know, Nami and Kofi fall out of uh, Kumasi out of shock. You know, from Oz. Yeah. Oz awakens, the first thing he wants is food. Classic Luffy. He wants meat. What's that meat? They bring him everything. Luffy and Ko run off. Uh, Chopper is getting mad at Hobback for playing God. Absalon just blasts Chopper and Usopp in the back and takes Nami. Yet again. Uh-huh. How many times is this going to happen? 
one more time. At least three more times. Yeah. Mm. Usopp and Chopper try and get Nami back, but Absalon disappears. Zombies that attack Robin and Frankie. Zombies that attack and then Robin and Frankie save the day with the known weakness of souls. Frankie informs the rest of what's going on. And, uh, you know, Mora starts to feed Oz. Starts to get him on his good side. Yeah. Oz gets, just gets bored and punches through the wall. He's going to be the Pirate King. And declares baby. that he will be the Pirate King. Just right? like Monkey D. Can't be contained. Mm-hmm. He's bored, he's punched through the wall. Yep. Uh, you, you, your ship's getting fucked up, Mora. And you don't care. But he doesn't care, Christian. It's someone else's problem. It's always someone else's problem. Yeah. Brooke versus Ryuma time. We had the first flashback of him running into him around full of bark. Ryuma dominates him. Just absolutely dominates him. Yep. The body's too strong for him. Brooke doesn't want to leave his afro, Christian, because of Laboon. Exactly. How will Laboon recognize him without the afro? Brooke starts the fights by saying he got stronger. Yep. Absalon is now preparing the wedding. We get so many cuts to this Absalon plot line. Yep. That... It's very hard to care about. I get it. Nami's evolved. Uh, you know, whatever. But ugh, she keeps on getting captured by Absalon. It's happened like four times. Yeah, it's a bit much. Alright, so... Frankie and Koro run back to the ship to wake Luffy, Sanji, and Zoro up. Because when your shadow gets taken, you get knocked out for two days. Yeah. Apparently. Uso make, wakes them up with saying what they want the most. Meat. Uh, strong swordsman. And a beautiful woman. Yeah. To wake them up. Alright, next chapter. Luffy and Sanji are, you know, up and, uh, you know, they're wanting their shadows back. Sanji gets mad at Uso for leaving Nami behind. Some, Sa- Sanji seemingly just goes to hell's memories here. And goes full flames as he wants to find Absalon and beat the fuck out of him. Sure. Frankie tells the, the, the gang books flashback and they want to help him meet Laboon again. The crew respect Brooke's dream, and they want to help him. Now they're on board, Christian. I mean, they're always on board, but now they're on board. Yeah. Back to Ryuma versus Brooke. Brooke is not doing so well. Gets hit in the face. He's not. Yeah, he's not. Gets not stabbed. Doing great. He's not doing great. He must keep his afro. For Laboon to recognize him when they meet again, you can't touch the afro. Yeah. Right for that reason. The crew is now help is now pumped to help Brooke achieve his dream. Next chapter. The crew the crew then had to play to take down Mori out. We gotta find Mori. We're gonna beat the shit out of him. Get our shadows back. Yeah. And to, to, and to get Nami back. Sanji continues to scream. He's fired up. He needs to save Nami. It's bullshit. He's upset. Usopp is going with Sanji as he, as he feels responsible for letting Nami get captured. Frankie and Zora are also going to go help Brooke out. Luffy wants to beat up Mario. Because he stole his meat. Because he stole his meat. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't steal his food. Stole all the food on the ship. Don't do it. Brutal. Oz is, you know, stuffing around. He's just like, he's just like a more savage Luffy. Yeah. Stuffing around. Pulling shit, climbing shit. Well, he's not more savage. He's just a stumbling idiot. Yeah, more like savage. Like a dumb savage idiot. Yeah, alright. Because he's like ancient being. Yeah. Mora is excited to use oars to get an even stronger zombie army. To get... To capture even stronger shadows, Christian. Exactly. A domino effect, as it were. Yep. Mora gets a report that the straw hats are running wild. Perona is sent to go deal with them. You know, Moria just wants to play with oars. He doesn't give a fuck about the straw hats. Yeah. Get the fuck off my island. Alright? Why are you here? Just cop the L. Get off. You know? You're not my problem. Straw hats continue their rampage through Moria's base. But the ghosts are here and they stun Luffy and Sanji. Oars jumps off the mast and crashes the party. Uh-huh. Uh, Robin, Chopper and Luffy manage to get over to the other side. But the others fall down to the other levels. Next chapter. Robin and Chopper stay to attack Hogback. Luffy runs into Moria. Yeah. Can't, can't just have a chit chat. Moria's just sitting there doing nothing. 
Be like, what's up, store head? He's like, well, oh, you're store head, are you? Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Oz leaves the store head alone and continues to fuck around. Frankie, using his craftsmanship, builds an elaborate bridge to get the others across. Yo, know, we need more of this. I want to see Frankie build shit to help the Straw Hats in the arcs they're in. In real time or yeah. in preparation? In real time. Because he's going to have the weapons and whatnot. Sure, he's going to... I bet he's going to build a massive scaffold to, to suplex someone off. Uh, Alright. Well, maybe we'll see that happen. This is crazy. He's holding someone in one hand, he's building something in the other, and then he suplexes them off the top. Because he's a master craftsman. That's ridiculous. Well, apparently he can build a fancy bridge in one second. Alright. So... With details. With details. Do you want sign? Do you want him to do shoddy work? No. Exactly. You can't do shoddy work, Christian. See, Christian, people say Frankie's changed, and I don't understand it. He hasn't changed at all. As we'll see with the docking. Yep. The legendary docking. Zoro's group runs into Perona, and they're all knocked out on the ground by the negative ghosts. Usopp stands. The ghosts... Don't work on him, as he's already extremely negative. And in fact, the ghosts get negative, Christian. It's a reversal. It's crazy. Unprecedented. Perona then pulls the enemy face. She's shocked. Nothing. She can't believe it. Mm-hmm. That there's someone so negative that her ghosts don't work. Uh, you know, then we move over to the wedding again. Which Fuck Absalom. Uh, just cause being Nami to marry him. Yeah. Just, just fuck Absalom. This whole port line. It's annoying. Don't get it. What's well, even the message here? Just a gag for Sanji. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it's just for Sanji. It's, uh, it brings out the arc. It's so annoying. Because I want to love this arc. Let me get this fucking wedding plot line. So what needed? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I mean, we'll get into it at the end. Yeah. Now, it's time for Usopp versus Perona. Usopp gets his major fight. Not even halfway through the arc. Yeah. It's, uh, it's interesting. Well, what do you think about that? That's alright. The kind of structure. Everyone gets multiple fights this arc. Yeah. And there's barely any plot going on. So there's barely any plot, barely any character stuff going on. Yeah. The ghosts get out negative by Usopp's negativity. Yeah. Classic Usopp. Beautiful. Sanji then runs off to find Nami. Uh, you know, Brook versus Ryuma. Brook is getting dominated by Ryuma. Ryuma, Brook used to serve in a kingdom's raider squad. Yep. Now, what the fuck is a raider squad? They raid countries, they raid ships. Sure. They're on the seas, fucking shit up. Sure. And that's where he learnt the three hum, the three notch slash. Uh, then they decide to clash with it. They both use it. Uh, Brook lo- loses the clash, but guess what? Zoro saves him. Zoro comes in. Zoro takes the place of Brook to get his shadow back. Zoro comments on Ryuma's sword and he wants to know where he, where he got it. You know. That sword looks very good. Black Blade, Christian. Black Blade. But he's hyped. Yeah. He's as hyped as Silver's as when he sees the sword. Sure. Alright, back to Oz. Oz is steering the ship randomly and all the zombies are trying to stop him. Uh, Oz just uses a Gatling and destroys all of them. Oz has 20 arms. Oz, uh, appears to have 20 arms, just like the Kong Organ. Yeah, he grew 20 so, arms, Christian. You know, he grew 20 arms. You know, you just have to cop that out. Yep. So, you know. There you go. Uh, Sanji finally arrives at the wedding. Finally. Here we are. Next chapter. Luffy starts to fight with Moria. Even if Moria is defeated, the Shadows need to be told to go back to the owner due to the contract with Moria. So Luffy has to do more than just defeat Moria. Yes, to make him give him. Yes, to make him give the shadows back. Moria is being a lazy fuck and doesn't even get up to fight Luffy. He just uses his shadow to fight Luffy. Yeah. Luffy does okay, you know. He gets he keeps, keeps getting blocked. The bats get him, attack him. Luffy finally lands a hit by you know kicking under the platform. Uh, Moria finally gets mad. Now, Sanji versus Absalon. Sanji starts off by protecting Nami. Absolute just gets dominated in this fight. Yeah, but how many kids does he cop? I know, but he gets, he's, there's no, it's not even a fight, it's just a Sanji domination. Alright. Absalon is hyping himself up, but then he just get, get, gets kicked in the face. Yeah. 
Sanji dominates Absalon in an enraged state with the combo kicks. When are we going to get them? When are we going to get these combos? Sanji back? fight? Where are you? When are we going to get the combos? I need to see them. Yeah. The combo kicks. I love to see them. I love them. Next chapter. Sanji is in his hell memory state and dominates Absalom some more. The combos still continue. Just a beating. But Absalom will not go down. Sanji reveals that his dream is to have the invisible fruit so he can prove on girls. The whole point of this port line. The here. <laughs> For this gag. Not worth the payoff. Not worth the payoff. Uh, and it's not over. It's not over. <laughs> <laughs> this port line never finishes. So weird. I don't get it. Alright, so apparently, you know, he wants it to pair on girls. You know, Sanji knows about the Devil Fruit book. It makes sense, whatever. Uh, Sanji's a pervert. Yeah, we know this. Yep. So then, you know, Absalom reveals his secret. He's got the elephant skin. He's got bear and gorilla muscles. He weighs 600 pounds. He can't be defeated. Blah, 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 blah. He, he was enhanced by Hogback to be a Still super... Still gets experience. dominated. Uh, Abazon just tries to escape and say and take Nami with her, but Sanji grabs her. Yeah. Abazon sh- you know, just fucks up Sanji while, she, while he protects Nami. Uh, Sanji has to drop Nami because he doesn't want blood to spill on her dress. Right? Sanji grabs Abazon and kicks the fuck out of him. And then we move on. Yeah. But it's not over. See you next time. See you next time in the Absalon subplot. Yeah. Usopp versus Perona. Now, this is actually a good fight. Yeah. This is, I think this is Usopp, one of Usopp's best fights. Good fight for Usopp. Very good fight. Perona is running away. Uh, Kum- Kumasi is attacking Usopp. Usopp manages to get rid of him with the fire. Perona attacks him, appears in the mist as a giant ghost. Yeah. Next chapter. Usopp shows off his new weapon that he added details to. He had, de- he had dials to his slingshot to make it more powerful, more stable. Yep. He upgraded his weapon. Perona is just fucking with Usopp at this point. Putting her, putting her, her arms in him. Freaking him out. Yep. Usopp can't hit her. She loves it. She loves it. Perona starts to use the shockwave ghosts to damage Usopp. Usopp just cops these one. He just cops hits. Just getting fucked up. Cops hits by the ghost. Kumasi comes in there and punches him in the head. Sure. Usopp just getting absolutely fucked up. Uh, he goes into the Soga King persona and kills Kumasi, Kumasi with the salt. Uh, Perona is pissed. Uh, will we ever see Soga King power up again? Will he ever put them off? I don't think on? he needs it. Anymore. What about after Chris Rosa? Could he have done with the Soga King power up there? I mean, he just did it without the Soga King mask. So. Did he? He went back. Yeah, he turned around. But will the Soga King power up ever return? Who knows? That's hype. When Usopp puts on the mask, that's hype. Yeah. Can't deny it. Okay. Alright? So, he, he, you know, he does his speech with Soga King to, you know, to get him to sort of like hype himself up. Yep. Get him to continue the fight. Uh, Usopp works out where what's going on. That Perona is protecting himself. And he finds Perona's room. Next chapter. Yeah, Usopp explains what's going on. You know, by shadows, ghosts. She's hiding in that room. Uses, you know, he uses an attack to blow open the, the room. Uh, you know, Usopp is then blindsided by a giant ghost, but he uses a reject dial to absorb the shockwave. Yeah. Usopp then uses a dial on a big zombie that attacks him. He uses his tricks to get Perona worked up enough to knock herself out. Is this the best Usopp fight? Can we get the dials back for close quarters combat? Two questions there. Is this the best Usopp fight? Is there a better Usopp fight? I feel like the Haki's a better tricks. moment. It's, it's a better a, moment, it's not a fight. but it's not a fight. Uses his tricks. Yeah. Uses all the things in his kit. Misdirection. 
misdirection, work something out, uh, cops punishment and nonstop, then, and then wins. And then wins. Good, good so far here. Will we ever see the dolls return? I think we will. For close quarters. Usopp fighting. When, when we need it. Sure. When Usopp's getting chased. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of his deal the entire post arc. Yeah. Uh, the entire... Um, yeah, you know what I mean. The yeah. entire... Pre-time skip. Pre-time skip. Well, after, yeah. After, after Skype here, yeah. of course. Alright. Uh, we then see the end of the Zoro fight, and it looks like Zoro lost. Which is weird. It's a weird... P- Did you notice that? Yeah. It's like a weird kind of... Thing. Time thing. Doesn't work. Flashback to the start of the fight. Ryuma can feel Zoro's strength and he wants to fight him. And you say this time thing doesn't work. We get this five minutes later thing. Why do you think this doesn't work? Not necessary, Christian. We don't need it. But are you afraid that Zoro lost? Because you don't know what's going on. But I don't know what happens, so it's a weird thing. Uh, But imagine you're reading this for the first time and you see this chapter. Sure. It looks like Zoro lost. People argue that, like... They want Oda to do continuous fights and then do the five minutes beforehand for other characters yeah. fighting at the same time. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Do you think this would have worked back when it came out? People were like, what the fuck is all lost? Sure. It would have hyped up Ryuma, it would have hyped up the fight. Alright. So, uh, it, it can work. I mean, people would have would, been salty because they would have thought that, like, you know, it was skipped or whatever. No, but, like, the chapter doesn't end with that. Yeah. So, like, you know, whatever. Ryuma is hyped by Zoro's strength. Right? Yes. Hyped. Next chapter. They are equal fighters, according to Brooke, and that means the fight will be over fast. Sword fights don't last very long. Usually one blow wins, Christian, in a sword fight. Will we get a Ryuma flashback in Wano? It depends what era is from, I guess. That's true. We will get, ever get that. Because the high pick him up, the, the warrior of Wano. But isn't just the Ryuma flashback just wanted? I mean, some people want to say that's not canon. Uh-huh. Some people say it is canon. Uh, because depending on if you think Kaido's a dragon or not, and your head canon there, all, 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 all types of shit. All right. So. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mythical fruit that a Kaido ate, by the way. Could just be a dragon for it, implying that dragons exist. Yeah, but then the dragons have to have mystical powers. Why? Because Kyra is flying on clouds. Kyra's just flying. Yeah. Yeah. How does he fly with no wings? Maybe an ancient zone, Christian. Doesn't have to be mystic, that's what I'm saying. How does ancient solve the problem of him flying? Because no they're, they're not around anymore. We don't need to have more than one dragon, you know what I mean? Okay. Alright. Alright. But what if he is a dragon who ain't the only dragon for it? Whatever, you know? It yeah. doesn't really matter. <laughs> if he's yeah. a, I mean, if he's a large dragon, sure. They fight on equal terms, and they've just fucked this room up. Yeah. There's explosions everywhere. Slice and dice. Slice and, and dice. And end up on the roof. They take it to the roof. Zoro is worried that his sword might break if he continues to fight, and he needs to finish it quickly, because his sword is too high. Yeah. The Black Blade. Right? It seems that Ryuma's spirit is coming back to him as he, as the fight goes on. Because he's like, the heat of battle, blah, 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 the, the spirit of the, of the samurai. Yeah. I can feel it. It's always hyping the shit out of the samurai. Yeah. Hyping the fuck out of them. Alright? And uh, as we see in Wano, they, they deserve the hype. And we see yeah. Uh, so we would have got dominated by Shute Maru back, back into the bark. Uh, no contest. Yeah. No contest. Uh, yeah, so, you know, they're fighting on equal terms, he takes it to the roof, Zoro finishes the fight with the flying dragon blaze, uh, and Ryuma does his notch slash. With real fire. With real fire? Ryuma gets a lit Christian. But that's like his spirit returning to the shadow realm, mystical, nah, weird nah, ghost nah, nah, nah. shit. Alright. Is it that Zoro can use fire? Is it? That's it. There's no real reason to say why not. So, Ryuma entrusts the sword to Zoro. 
And this is why I think Ryuma came back to his senses. Yeah. Because he's talking about the sword, the legendary sword. I can entrust it to you because you're strong. Yeah. It doesn't sound like Brook. Okay. Sounds like a different character. I think Ryuma's spirit came back when he's all flamey and When he's about to shit. die. Yeah. Yeah, Zoro gets a sword. And, uh, Zoro wishes he could have met Ryuma in his, his prime. prime. Hyping. The samurai from the Wano country. Hyping Wano up to absolute ridiculous In Thrill of Uh Wano has been hyped for a long time, and we're finally here. Here we are. It's, it's insane to think about. Just how many times Oda has dropped Wano country. Wano had to be one of his original arcs that he had in mind for the story. Multiple colour pages are Wano themed, Christian. Exactly. Oda had to. He loves Samurai. Wano had to be in his original draft. Sure. For One Piece. No I'm doubt. convinced. It's just keep getting pushed back. Because he wanted to be as hype as possible. Oh, yeah. He wanted to be at the end of the story. Yep. So he had to keep on pushing it back. Alright. Oda hyping the shit at the samurai. Zoro must fight a samurai in Wano. Is a Ryuma's descendant. Because we want that fight. We want that prime fight. It's a Rochi. We want that prime fight. Alright? We'll get we'll get a Rochi. He's a prime samurai. Is he Ryuma's descendant? Sure. And he not? wants that sword back, so that's where they fight. Alright. Sees him on the battlefield. That's well, my that's yeah, my that's my ancestor's like, sword. I want that sword. That's my ancestor's sword. Yeah. Zoro would be like, I met Ryuma. He's a quality bloke. You're a shit bloke. Yeah. All right. True swordsman, Ryuma. Right. Christian, well, what are we like halfway through this arc, and we just got the Sanji and Zoro fight? Yeah. Still got the Oars fight. Still got the Moria fight. Still got Kuma. Still got this. Still got wedding shit going on. Ah, oh, come on. All right. Heaps to talk about. Heaps. Of, just heaps of shit to talk about. Let's go. Alright. So, the, you know, the fight's finished. Uh, Brook gets his shadow back. Huzzah. Huzzah for Brook. He can now help the Straw Hats with their goals. Yeah. Next chapter. Chopper and Robin are caught by the Sanji and Zoro zombies. Hogback is getting Cindery to kill Robin and Chopper. Chopper and H- Hogback have a philosophical debate about what it means to be a doctor, humanity... Free will, etc. etc. Hogback is beating the cinder around. Yep. You know, Hogback is a piece of shit. Makes her lick the floor. Beats her head in. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm in control. This is what power is. This is what being a doctor is. All this kind of fucking shit. Hogback joins Moria's ship to make zombies and make Cindery his. No. Chopper gets mad that Hogback is forcing people to do things with no free will. Doesn't matter if they're alive, if they don't have free will. Yes. What's One Piece about? Freedom. Chopper knows. Chopper right? knows. Chopper knows. Cindery stum- somehow starts thinking. Uh, uh, Her rebel after she ate the spirit salt, returns, Christian. After she ate the salt and she comes back to herself. But she can't move. There's, some, the body. there's some kind of mystic thing about can the body still be alive? Uh, yeah. Can the can the spirit of the body still be in the body if the, even though they're dead? No one will ever know. Weird stuff. Weird shit. shit. Weird shit from a weird arc. Uh, Chopper now can beat the shit out of Hogback. Next chapter. Cindy has her memories back but can't control her body. The original owner of her body is resisting the shadow... And no one knows how this works. Yeah, just confusing. But we'll go with it. Chopper tells Luffy that Hogback... Chopper tells Hogback that Luffy can get people to follow him without making them mindless slaves. Because Luffy is the Pirate King. Correct. Alright. 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 Now it's time for the... Chopper is about to suplex Hogback. The super... Suplex. Yep. From the sky with, with Robin's, Robin's help. Robin's help, yeah. Meanwhile, Mora is showing Luffy oars for some reason. How did this even happen? Okay. There was a fight, and then they stopped fighting, and then Mora is just like, have a look at, have a look at oars. While you just stand here. <laughs> just strange, Christian. 
How does this even happen? We, we'll never find out. Maurice not interested in fighting. No. Maurice is just like, hey, have a look at, have a look at my creature. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, Moria tells him to tell, Moria tells Orz to get the straw hats off the island. Orz just crashes into the, the chopper fight. Chopper fight gets interrupted. I would have liked to see a conclusion to the hogback getting fucked up. That's just weird. Because Hogback never gets fucked up. Kind of just goes away. Where is Strange. the payoff for Hogback? He like saves Mori at the end. Yeah, but the Hogback and Cindery thing's weird. I know. Cindery smiles as he seemingly was crushed by Oz. I think she's happy to die. Yeah. The Straw Hats react to Oz, rampaging all over the ship. Uh, Absalon steals Nami once again. Out of Sanji's hands. Stop. Why? He can make How her invisible. How many times? How many times? Oh, it's yeah. the third time. Uh, always calls out the straw hats to fight him. Alright. Next. Chapter. Sanji is up and he's first against Oz. You know, he does okay. He gets some kicks in, dodges a few hits. But then he gets hit and uh, slapped into the wall. Usopp saves him with a fire, fire bird. Yeah. Or just, uh, just throws Sanji into the ground. Just piffs him into the ground. Pummeled. So he's like, you're next. Bloodied. Oz just fucks him up. Frankie then shoots at Oz. Oz speed blitzes the crew and kicks the tower they're in. Yeah. He's as fast as Luffy. The speed is crazy. He's as nimble as Luffy is. This is what I want to see from Kaido. Yeah. We already see it. The All speed. Right. Alright. The speed and power. Oz. You know, Oz dodges. No, Zoro tries to attack him with the gorilla spirit. Yeah. The, the very rare, very weird gorilla spirit. Used like twice. Yeah. No. Uh, Oz dodges that and kicks Zoro into the air. Oz then slams a tower straight into Frankie. He's too fast. Way too fast. He's too fast. Uh, Robin catches Zoro from falling, but Oz just slams a chunk of building into her and Usopp and Chopper. The crew is seemingly defeated. Next chapter. Oz goes to look for Luffy. Uh, Perona is worked up. Uh, she decides to get out of the bark. She doesn't want anything to do with this Oz situation. Yeah. Cut over to Absalom trying to marry Nami. Uh... The problem with this, you know, he just doesn't stay down. That's the problem with this arc. No one stays down. Yeah, they're all just Everyone kind just of keeps there. getting back Everyone's up. Everyone's just there. Uh, the finishing blow is getting interrupted. Just stay down. Yeah. You're side villains. Alright. Uh, Lola then comes in to save her. Lola and Nami pretend to fight so they can, like, distract Absalon. Nami finally knocks out Absalon. With the Thunder Tempo. It's finally over. Yes. This whole plot line is done. He was defeated because he took major damage from Sanji. Sanji doesn't even get the W here. Yeah, but Nami gets the finishing blow. Oh, yeah, alright. Nami got the finishing blow. Fair enough. Lola is a true friend. She she always knew she was a woman. But she enjoyed the encouragement. She enjoyed the encouragement. The crew is back up and ready for all's round two. The crew is talking tactics. And the best way to take down a big fish is to will it down is to will it down bit by bit, Sandy yeah. says. Okay. It's time for the true power of the straw hats. A combo fight. Docking. Alright? Yes. But it never was completed. Never was completed. Never was completed. What if they're actually all fused together when the docking was complete? That's crazy. Is this how they defeat Kaido. <laughs> no, this the is The secret no docking technique. There's no how to defeat Kaido. Alright. But we should get a docking scene again. That'll be fine. Robin refuses to join the docking as it's an embarrassment to her humanity. Yes. Chopper, Usopp and Frankie get slapped out of the docking by Oz. Mm. While Zoro and Sanji dodge it. Frankie states that if they, she, she had joined, they would have become the giant robot... Big Emperor. And then Luffy would have done it. Luffy definitely would have done it. Is the fusion real? <laughs> no, the fusion's not real. Is it some kind of weird fusion dance? Alright. 
when we get the Straw Hat Ultimate Big Emperor. Alright, we'll knows. see. Robin, never ask me to do docking again. Never ask her to do it, because she's not going to do it. The combos start, and they're glorious. Alright? Usopp makes all slip. Zoro and Saji work together to kick... Nami makes it wet. Not yet. That's later. That's way later on. Yes, that's what I'm forgetting the fight. This fight is massive and long. So long. But it's glorious. Yes. So many massive combos. Nunchucks. Nunchucks. Zoro smacks Oz in the face with nunchucks. Working together. Uh, Robin holds down Oz's arm and Frankie and Chopper slam him in the face. Sanji kicks Oz so hard that he does a backflip. Uh, Nami runs off and then we cut over to Nami. Nami runs off to find Luffy and Treasure. And uh, Kuma has arrived. Yes. Oh. Another wrinkle. Oz versus the Straw Hat Pirates round three. Zoro and Frankie attack his knees. Zoro wants to test out his new sword and that the black blade are extremely hard to break. They're heavy as well. They're heavy, they're powerful. So it's going to be a pain in the ass to master this sword, Christian. But it's going to be worth it. Sure. Nami confronts Perona for stealing her treasure. Perona tells her to come get it if she wants it. Yeah. Kuma appears and is hyped up. The atrocities he has committed as a, as a pirate are beyond the pale. Are beyond the pale. Yeah. Is this world government propaganda? We know Kuma, part of the revolutionaries. Or did he find the Lord and is trying to repent for his sins, Christian? We know he was part of the revolutionaries. Yeah. Before being a pirate or something. I mean, the Navy could spin it in a way. Na- I, th- I think it's Navy propaganda. All right. I don't believe Kuma's a bad guy. I mean, he's, he's in the Rev. And he helps the Straw Hats out. Multiple times. Uh, so, Kuma's here. Peruna. All right. Well, Kuma asked her where she wants to go on a vacation. She says somewhere gloomy. No. Somewhere creepy. Kuma sends her off. Bye mm. bye. Bye, Peroni, out of this arc. See ya. At least someone leaves the arc. Gone. Gone. Good. Kuma asks Nami if Luffy has a brother. Wonder who that could be. Oh. Luffy finally catches Shadow Moria. End of the chapter. Luffy's being a goon and realises that Shadow Moria is not the real Moria. Thanks, Luffy. He just got sent on a wild goose chase. Back to the Oars versus Straw Hat fight. Zoro is trying to master his new sword. He says his attacks are stronger. He getting new swords is a power-up. Yes. They only have 30 minutes to defeat Oars as the sun is starting to rise. You know, the shadows are going to get evaporated. All this kind of shit. Okay, so Kuma and Moria have a conversation. Kuma brings word that Blackbeard is the new emperor. The, the new... Warlord. Warlord. Uh, Moria's never heard of this guy. Who the fuck is he? Uh, apparently, the government sent Kuma because they don't want Moria to be defeated. Another Warlord going down. I don't want it. I don't want it to happen. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're starting to take the strat seriously after the defeat of Kuma, after okay. the defeat of Rob Luigi. No one thought Rob Luigi could lose. That's what he said. No one thought it. No one thought about it. The government is taking the straw hat seriously. The fog has cleared due to a storm, and this is really bad news for the straw hats. You're gonna get evaporated yep. in 30 minutes. Moria gets triggered into fighting. Alright? He gets yeah. triggered into fighting. Because he's like, what the fuck? I can take care of this shit. Why are you here? Fuck the government. What do they think this is? They think I'm going to lose to this rubber boy. Yeah. Moria then suddenly just appears in the cockpit of Oz. And there's a cockpit in Oz. There's a cockpit in Oz. Uh, he doesn't really control him. He just tells him orders. I guess he's just manipulating his shadow. Yeah, we'll get to that later. But he doesn't control him directly. Yeah. He, like, tells him what to do. Gives him a little, a little bit of an intelligence boost. Yeah. Uh... With Moria inside of Oz, he's getting direct orders, boosting his intelligence. 
Usopp goes to get more salt, but also attacks him. Brook saves him, and he brought a whole bag of salt for the battle. You know it's a bag of salt because there's salt on the bag. Oh yeah, you know it's salt. Yeah, it's uh, it's about as salty as uh, Oro Jackson. Okay, that's how salty that bag is. Where do you get a bag of salt that big, Christian? I don't know. Suppliers in the kitchen. Kitchen supplies. I guess that's the filler. That's what he said. Yeah. He said he got it from the kitchen. Yeah. Brooke managed to heal himself with milk. There you Classic go. Brooke. And the, and the real fight, you know, and, and it started the fight. Started round four. Yeah. With the oars. Frankie and Uso up to a combo to increase the size of the firebird, setting oars on fire. I love these combos. I want to see more combos. I want to see more combo attacks from the crew, Christian. I think we'll see them. This is my favorite combo. Uh-huh. Chopper throws Zoro up to cut tails into pieces, and then Saji kicks the pieces into Oz. Yeah. That's a great combo. Good combo. That's a great combo. But Oz knocks back, he knocks back three of the four pieces back at them. The crew manages to dodge this. Usopp flings Frankie at Oz to attack Moria directly. Yeah. Too bad Oz is too fast and dodges this attack. Indeed. And just sends... Fucking Frankie into a building. Okay. Destroying half of it. Frankie is about to get finished off, but Nami saves him with a Thunder Tempo. Yes. Uh, Oz punches Nami, but Robin managed to save her from falling. Oz is also stretchy for some reason now. Yes. Which we'll uh, get into. They're getting confused. We're all confused. How does this happen? Somehow Moria powered up Oz. Luffy runs into a gang of pirates, and they know the secret of Moria's power. Yeah. End of the chapter. The captain of this gang is indeed Lola. This came out of nowhere. I mean, Lola's here, the shadows, whatever. The, the, the dude at the start, oh, yeah, alright, but yeah. like... Lola's crew starts to power up Luffy with shadows. You know. As once they purify the zombies, the shadows come out and then you can just grab them. Yeah. That, that's how you capture them. Okay. The power up will only last 10 minutes. Uh, Luffy can take 100 shadows. How many can you take now? How many? Ten minutes though. Ten minute power up? But how many shadows can you take? Alright. That's my question. There we go. We'll get into it. When, at, uh, at the end. You know, at the end. Or maybe in the next segment. Not the, oh, the next show. segment. Oh, Talk yeah, of the yeah, show. Yeah. So we'll do it in top of the show. Whatever. Okay. Uh, you know, Luffy gets powered up. Uh, now we move back over to the Straw Hats. The Straw Hats are struggling with the stretchy oars. It's too much for them. Yeah. That, that extra range is too much. It is revealed that Moria is changing the shape of Oz's shadow, therefore changing the shape of Oz's body. I guess. Sure. Devil fruit bastard, Christian. Weird devil fruit magic. Does this even make sense? No. Uh, who really cares, though? Okay. You know. There we get another, another sick combo. Bro- how, many, how many people do you reckon you could ask, right? Yeah. Legitimately, and that answer correctly... Is Oz... Does Oz have Luffy's power? Rubber powers. Yeah. About 50-50. 50-50? Yeah. Okay. Brook, Nami, Usopp, and Robin do a combo attack. Do some major damage to Oz. Yeah. Uh, they, you know... They spin Brook, shoot him into a lightning bolt, and pierce straight through Oz's shoulder. This is a good one. Maybe my favourite. It's great. Brook is not hurt by electricity, so the whole cake island thing is consistent. Yep. Please remember, Brook can't get hurt by a lot of things. Because he's skeleton. Because he's, he's all bones. Because he's already dead. Yeah. Uh, Zoro is able to get a hit in due to the opening. Yeah. And, uh, you know, always just drops a gum gum axe onto Brook. Knock a Brook out. Sure. It was brutal. Brutal attacks from all us. Uh, Robin stops the attack by holding Moria in the cockpit because uh, Oz is about to uh, use a gum gum bazooka to just destroy the rest of the crew. Robin stops the stretching yeah. by holding back Moria by sporting the arms of the cockpit. The chapter. Moria sets his sights on Robin and uses uh, shadows to attack her. Moria can switch his body parts with his shadow. Yeah. So, like, Robin tries to snap his neck, but it's his shadow because he switched his head with the shadow. 
some really crazy shit with all with Warrior's power that you really forget about. Yeah. That you can do. He's got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Warrior then steals Robin's shadow and she's knocked out. She's out of the fight. Oz goes to finish off Robin, but Sanji deflects the attack with the Amelie Jambe Frit Sword. Yep. A kind of free attack Jambe Jambe. Uh, is he strongest attack yet? Okay. Is that true? Yeah, it probably is. Alright. Chopper then manages to climb up Oz and he found his weakness. Oz's right arm is not all original. It was frost. It was damaged by the frostbite. Uh, we get a backstory on how Oz died. Uh, an autopsy from Chopper. Yeah. Uh, he died by frostbite. Apparently, he's stupid. He walked into a cold area without, without clothing. Yeah. Died that way. Uh. Then, uh, you know, Oz grabs Chopper, but he's too small. Chopper pops out, uses rumble ball. Sanji gives him a launch. Uh, Chopper gets big damage on Oz's shoulder. Oz doesn't really give a fuck because he can't feel pain. Yeah. And uh, Oz just like gatlings Chopper and Sanji to the ground. And now they're out of the game. Alright. Fuck's sake. Why do I have multiple the same chapter? I don't know. You just shut the papers, mate. It's crazy. Zoro does a spinning slash all the way, all the way up, all the way up, Oz's arm to create an opening for Usopp to shoot the salt into his mouth. Yeah. Oz just smacks Zoro out of the air. Zoro's done. Okay. Usopp gets the salt in Oz's mouth, but no, no, no. no. Moria Shadow stops it, and now don't think so. It's time for Nightmare Luffy to come in and save Nami and Chopper and pummel him. Oh. Naomi Luffy stops Oz's attack with one arm. And the shock fate, everyone's shocked to see this feat. Naomi Luffy. Naomi Luffy's in. Next chapter. Everyone needs to win. Everyone needs to see Luffy win right now because they're so close to being wiped out. Yeah. Luffy just fucking dominates. Dominates Oz. Yeah. Uh, cartoon style slamming him around like a fucking rag doll. Uh, uh, get ready for Cardo to get baby shaked. Okay. Uh, there you go. By his stupid jacket. Uh, Luffy could use a sword. He cuts. Cuts oars massively. Yeah. You could argue cuts oars better than Zoro could. Sure. Which is crazy. He has a giant sword. He does have a giant sword. Luffy uses a sword in this form. So, if he gets a shadow of a powerful samurai in, in Wano, it's definitely over. Okay. He's carrying a sword with him. Don't forget the cursed blade that he has. Be a tiny little toothpick, though, if it was him. It'd be weird, but whatever. Okay. Uh, Luffy does a gum gum storm on Oz, and, you know, Moria cops a lot of hits from Ramo Luffy while he's in the cockpit. Uh, everyone thinks Luffy did it, and he won. No, no, no. Next chapter. Oz gets back up. Uh, so do all the straw hats. And they work together to freeze Oz. Luffy is out of nightmare mode. Usopp and Frankie redirect the freezer pipes. While Robert and Brooke help Luffy get to the position to smash Oz. Nami makes a run on Oz. And Usopp pulls the lever to freeze Oz's place, legs in place. Sanji wraps the chain around Oz's neck. The chain of the ship. Yeah. That like, helps with uh, navigation. Luffy readies his giant bazooka. Zoro slashes Oz, and Sanji pulls the chain to make him look up. Oz tries to counter, attack, counter this attack with his own bazooka, but his right arm is too damaged to move. Luffy smashes Oz's face, breaking his spine. Brutal. Brutal. That's the most brutal attack Luffy's ever done. Oz is finally down. Yeah. Now, this entire fight is fucking spectacular. Spectacular long... But spectacular Is always. it my favourite fight in One Piece? Yes. Okay. Combo fights. We get to see the crew use multiple attacks. Work together. Work together in creative ways. Using their smarts. Using what they're good at. Topper with the, with the diagnosis. So they can beat him with the yeah. freezing. He's weak to ice. Uh... 
you know, your shoulder up, fucking your shoulder up, the spine thing, the spine thing, yeah, uh, whole but it's so long, it's so epic, always is a real threat, it just fucks everyone up, sure, Nightmare Luffy comes in there and dominates him for a bit, but the finishing blow is a tag team effort, okay, Nightmare Luffy does the majority of the damage, yep, but like, what I like to see is that it's not finished by Nightmare Luffy, it's finished by the entire crew. I think it's fantastic. I think it's a really a fantastic fight. Good combo fight, Christian. Hopefully we can expect something similar in Wano. On Kaido. I want to see it. Uh, so, Oz is down. Uh, it turns out that Cinderi is still alive. What's the deal with Cinderi? She's still alive. Not crushed by Oz. She had this... Says it here. She's supposed to be. This whole I plot line. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Ah, oh, it's frustrating. This is so weird. Yeah. Alright. Whatever. Moria gets out of oars and absorbs a thousand shadows. Fat daddy. Uh, Moria then proceeds to split the islands with a punch. Alright. And the sun is starting to rise. Everyone's starting to evaporate. Luffy needs to finish the fight now. Next chapter. Luffy is going to cut... Is going to get the shadows out of Moria. Yeah. Luffy, you know, gets a few hits in on Moria. Uh, but Moria traps him into a box and just starts stomping the shit out of him. Or he punches the box, slams it around. But guess what? Luffy's made of rubber. Rubber always bounces back. Rubber always bounces back. You can't break... Luffy's will, Kaido. All right. All right. Impossible to break Luffy's will. Rubber always bounces back. Indeed. Say the same thing to Karakuri. Rubber <laughs> always bounces back. Just All like right? Mochi. Just like Mochi. All right. Kind of. Just throwing in Karakuri for no reason. Luffy goes gear three and uses a jet shell on Moria. And the shadows start to come out, but it's not enough. Luffy has to hit him again with the jet shell. And now all the shadows come out. And Moria is finally defeated. End of the chapter. Moria kind of goes out like a bitch. Yeah. All this is a real fight. It was kind of like a dumb move. Exhorting all those shadows. Because it seemed like he couldn't like hold them all in. He couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't control that many shadows in his body. Yeah. It's kind of like overkill. So he kind of like nerfed himself. Oh, he was powerful. He was just too much. Yeah, it was too much power. Like getting overstuffed yeah. with food. And you're like, oh. He just throws up shadows. Alright, everyone gets their shadow, shadows back. Everyone starts to celebrate. Cool, like, panel where, like, they all believe in Luffy and they're just standing there with their arms crossed waiting yeah. for Luffy to finish it. Exactly. Pretty cool. They all believe in him. Hogback talks to Abazon as they escape. Why do these people get to escape? For Moria to be in the story, Christian. I know, but they're absolute scumbags. I don't, like... And they don't even get defeated. Hogback does not get defeated. What are the, what's the point of these two dudes in his arc? Yeah. We'll get to it at the end. When we start talking about pros and cons of his arc. Uh-huh. Luffy is now knocked out. Lola is grateful and tries to marry uh, Zoro. The real Lola. Uh, too bad. That Kuma appears. No. Yeah. Alright. Kuma gets the command to destroy everyone on the island so the news of Moria's defeat does not spread. Kuma starts to dominate the area, just taking goons out. And then he sets his eyes on Zoro. Yes. Next chapter. Zoro tells everyone to stay out of the fight. It's his fight. Kuma challenged him. He's going to do it. Alright? Uh, Kuma says that the crew is quite strong. Not only is Luffy strong, but his crew is also strong. Which is kind of shocking to, to, to him in some ways. Okay. Because we know uh, other crews suck. Like, Law's crew sucks. True. Right? Law's the only strong one there. So it's interesting. Uh, Zoro could just can't get a hit on, more on Kuma. Kuma's just too OP. Too fast. Too fast. Good the reflection shit. Yep. Can't hit him. Zoro just can't land a solid hit. Uh, uh, Frankie now... They, they work out he has the poor poor fruit. He tells them what it is. It's the poor boy fruit. Everyone's confused. How the fuck does this work? No one. Why can he reflect no everything? It. I guess it's some sort of pun. 
I know what I was going for there. Yeah. Uh, Zoro can't land a hit. And uh, almost gets KO'd, but Sanji comes in and tries to save him. But his kick does absolutely nothing and he just hurts his own leg. That's an L. <laughs> That's an L for Sanji. It's yeah. definitely an L. Uh, Kuma starts charging up the Ursha Shock and offers the Straw Hats a deal. Give me Luffy and you can all go free. Of course they refuse. No dice. No dice. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Kuma then uses the Ursa Shock, knocking everyone out. Next chapter. Everyone is wasted. Kuma goes to pick up Luffy. Zoro hits him with that lion song. Turns out Kuma's a cyborg like Frankie. Kuma shoots a, la- a laser at Zoro. Uh, you know, we just get, to show we get he's to see Vegapunk a little bit here. First and only shot of Vegapunk. Yep. Kuma was enhanced by Vegapunk, who is said to be the world's smartest man. Kuma, his body acts on its own. He can't really control his own body sure. already. He's already losing his mind. This kind of thing. Zoro offers his life instead of Luffy. And Kuma asks him why. Because Zoro says, Luffy will be the Pirate okay. King. Zoro is never going to betray the crew. People say Zoro's going to leave the crew. You're stupid. Zoro is willing to put aside his own ambition for Luffy. To but the Christian, in, in Water 7, the arc previous to this. Yeah. He said character something else. Growth, character development. Zoro never betraying the crew. He's right or die. Absolutely not. Right or die. He believes in Luffy and he will become Pirate King. All right? Correct. Sanji, you know, he gets up, he tries to offer his, uh, you know... Tries to offer, uh... His life, but he's... You know, he's too weak. Zoro just knocks him out. Whatever. Sanji is willing to sacrifice himself for the crew! Consistent with Whole Cake Island! Alright? If you think otherwise, what, what, what do I have to say? Alright. Uh, Sanji has a self-respect issue. Okay? Due to his sad backstory. Alright. Look forward to the fight with Dritz coming up. Yeah, who knows if that's ever going to... I don't know. I don't want it to happen. Because it's going to get savage. Dude, dude commented on this on the uh, YouTube channel page, right? Yeah. Get Christian in here to actually fight Dritz. Is that what he said? Something like that. And uh, Dritz is like, yeah, we can do it. Oh. But... Man, I don't want to... I don't need that kind of... Rage in my life. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't need it. Alright. Maybe it'll happen one day. Uh, so, Zoro just sacrifices himself. Yes. Kuma says, if you can survive his pain, uh, I'll let you go. Right. De- you, got a- you got a deal. You got to survive Luffy's pain. Uh, pain from what? Just Luffy's pain from the general. From the arc? Yeah. The shadows. The shadows, I guess, the is Moria. the most, most amount of pain. What do you... What you, you how many hits did he cough from Moria, though? He got stomped around by island level attacks. Okay. So. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Mm. He got fucked up a little mm. bit. And the shadows did a massive toll on his body. Yeah. So. There you go. Zoro takes the pain. It should surely kill him, but it doesn't. Because. Because he sees it though. Zoro's, Zoro's a weapon. Uh, Kuma hints that he knows Dragon. And that they share. And that him and Luffy share the p- same power to gain. Good friends. You know. Then we cut over. Zoro's not dead because nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. He's not dead. And then the chapter ends. And then we begin to wrap the arc up. This is all arc wrap uh, Arc wrap up. Book, book flashback. All kinds of shit. Absalon takes Moria out to sea and is reading the newspaper. Ace is captured. There we go. Here's the first hint. Here's the first mention of that. Could you imagine dudes discussing Blackbeard vs. Ace for fucking two years? Crazy. Annoying. And uh, frustrating. There we go. Who won? Oh, but Blackbeard became a warlord, therefore he won. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We can see the, the hate. So Ace is captured. Uh, Nami gets all the treasure from the floor bark, and now they have the cash for Shabondi. 
Yes. Yes. We're wondering where that cash came from. It's from Tarulbach. There we go. There we go. The crew is getting ready for the feast, but Zoro is in a very bad condition. So Alji knows what happened, and he isn't going to tell anyone about it. Because he respects that Zoro sacrifice, alright? Zoro do, didn't do it for Luffy to be grateful. He did it because he, he knows... Respects the captain. Respects the king. Alright? And the crew. Right. Uh, Robin overhears that uh, the conversation. And the feast begins. Uh, Brooke also saw what happened to Zoro. So, like, half the crew saw what happened. And then Robert finds out. Uh, Robin overhears it. Yeah. From a goon. Because Sanji's telling goons off, not to tell anyone. Yeah. Brooke plays Bru Big Sake. Shanks used to sing it with his crew. Famous One Piece song. Famous scene Everyone shanty. knows it, Christian. The, the Lamb House. It's a classic song. It's a classic. It's been around for generations. Everyone knows it in the thing. Luffy tells Brooke about the Bl Laboon. Brooke starts to cry. How is Bl Laboon alive? It's, it's good that he's alive. Yeah. We get to start the flashback with, you know, good ties with the Rumble Pirates. It's time for Brooke's flashback. I've condensed it into three chapters. It's a little, just a recap. Uh -huh. uh, you know, Rumble Pirates found a young whale and, you know, are traveling with it. Once they got to the Grand Line, it was too dangerous for the whale to follow them. They had to leave him behind and they promised... That they would return to see him once again. Yes. Uh, Yorkie got sick and Brooke had to take over as captain. The crew was attacked by powerful pirates. And they all died singing together. Brooke was alone on the ship. He started to go crazy. But he knew he had to live to see Laboon again. Sad times. Sad times of Brooke. 50 years alone. On your ship with all your crew dead. Yeah. Saddest backstory. Gets me every time in the anime. Brutality. You know, duo. You know, solo. Why would you leave the accompaniment? Crazy. Why would you just leave the accompaniment, Christian? After the full of the flash. Rob Lucci's in that crew as well. Yeah, he is. Rob Lucci's great-grandfather. Yeah. Or something. Brooke is happy to be alive. And he joins the crew. We get Brooke... Having fun joking around with the crew. Brooke reveals he has a bounty. Gets his gives him the stats. I'm Brooke. I have a bounty. I'm cool. Brooke and Zoro bond over at the graveyard with his crew two days later. Yeah. Lola gives Nami Big Mom's Vivri card and tells them that and she will help them. explains what Vivri cards are. They all could be mixed with special paper. You gotta go to a shop to do it. Someone's gonna do it. Someone needs to know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, apparently Zabba knows how to do it. Alright. AC's Vivi kind of started to fade out, and the crew leaves, and we see the giant creatures in the fog, they will never find out what it is, and the arc is over. And that is Tula Park. There we go. The arc that never ends. There's a, there's a, the chapter after is just like, Garp, Kuma, and Sengoku talking about the situation. Yeah, yeah, it's so post there you go. Alright, where do you, you want to start with this discussion? Christian, what a long arc. Long arc with lots of... Details. Details, things that we it's don't... A fun, it's a fun time. It's a fun time. Alright, I'm not going to lie, it's a, it's, not a, it's a fun time. But, do we need the Amazon pull one? Do we need the, the week trail running constantly for like half the chap, half the volume? It's funny because then the... The, the contract works, I get it. The problem I have this is arc is... The, the problem is, is Hogback and Absalon. That's, those are the two problems. Those are the two problems. Too much is spent on them, and there's no payoff. Because yeah. they don't get defeated. And they escape. And they're like nothing characters. And there's no real message to speak of, apart from, like, human free will. Uh, it's about life and death, really, if you think about yeah. it. And, like, what's life about, and the dreams, all that kind of shit. It's not. It's it's just a battle heavy arc with like weird sure, subplots. Sure, but like the, the messages aren't like, you know, clear. No, it's not like Hogback has a point. Yeah, Hogback has no point. So like, there's not really interesting, in a yeah. way. Okay. Yeah, like the like, sub Hogback and Absalon have no point. They're just villains. Yeah, Hogback's. The uh, Absalon is a piece of shit. Hogback's a piece of shit. You got, Warriors, rege you got rejected, mate, nothing. right? Just because she dies doesn't mean you get to steal her body and make her your wife. He's crazy. He's a piece of shit. Uh, 
That's the problem with this arc. There's no like the villain. The characters are weird. I mean, Ryuma's just Brook, but he doesn't. He's not himself, so it's weird. We don't get to see that heart there. Like Mori- the side, the side characters kind of. Mori is a change of pace for villains. He's he's a different villain. Yeah. Some might say the real villain is Oz, and the Luffy clone. The just the characters in general are great in this arc. Yeah. That's the problem with this arc. Great action, great comedy. But we need that mix of We need the characters and good action. The themes are almost non existent. Yeah. Brooke, I like Brooke's flashback. That's good. There's, there's, there's high quality moments in this. in this. But the chapter to but chapter. The, but the connecting tissue isn't there. Here's how I think I make his arc better you just strip out Absalom. Or just have him be like a standard villain that gets beaten by his. Sanji. Sanji or something. Why do we have to have Nami get captured like four times and then Absalom doesn't really get defeated? I don't know. Uh, you can get rid of Absalom and you can reduce the hogback stuff. Also, do we need uh, random fights with zombies that last the whole chapter? Maybe not. This arc's really long. I reckon keep all the ore stuff. Ore stuff's good. Keep, 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 all that. That, keep all that shit. You just gotta cut out basically most of Hogback and Absalom. And Absalom. They get too and much screen a, time. A fair bit of zombie stuff because like it doesn't pay off. It doesn't matter. Like the generals don't pay off, so there's no real point having them. Yeah, they don't matter for like five chapters. It just always appears that he's the big, big threat, big bad guy, and they all get and like all the other up. zombies don't even matter. They all get defeated by Frankie, on the bridge. Yeah, they so, don't matter. Like why have like. You can cut this chapter. You can cut this arc down by at least ten chapters. And maybe throw a theme in there, that like about life, maybe about death, mean, mean something, about free will. But then we get Kuma, the Kuma moment, the Zoro moment. That type is fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Flashback. Brooke Bruce joins the crew. Very, here's the problem with this arc. Nightmare Luffy. Here's the problem with this arc. It's got, fight. it's got super highs and it's got super lows. All right. Absalom can't stand it. It's, it just it's just nothing. It's annoying, because he, he keeps on like, cutting between action. It's for a Sanji gag. And that's disappointing. Because... No real message involved. There's no real message for Sanji there. It's just he wants to defeat him because Absol's a bad guy. They're both they're, perverts. They're both... That's the problem with this arc. No, like, bare Hulk bones back, things. Hulk a little bit better because it's kind of interesting. Yeah, but he doesn't even get defeated. But he's just a straight villain anyway. There's, he doesn't really have... It'd be different if, like, it was Hogback's wife, yeah. you know, that died, and then he joined Mori to bring his wife back. But it, he's just a weird freak. Why didn't he get suplexed by Chopper? Got interrupted. At least give us that satisfaction. No. Yeah. There's a lot of weird shit in this arc that... You know, it's annoying. Okay. Let's talk about the art. Great art. Great art. Best architecture, perhaps. Best, uh, shout out to the background, guys. Yep. Doing the architecture justice, Christian. Great architecture. High quality shadow. Uh, great fight. Come on the fights. Good quality. action, Christian. Slight issues with location problems, because, you know, uh, everything's scale. a mansion. Also because of the scale of wars. All, but, I will add, very good shot choices... To display how big Oz is. Always the low angles, Christian. Yeah. Appreciate it. We understand how big Oz is. I like building comparisons and shit. Yes. But we don't know where they are. They're around the mansion They're somewhere. in buildings. Yeah. They're around. They're around. Mo- that's most of the arc, by the way. They're just kind of like in the mansion. Yeah. And sometimes he'll give you like where they are. Yeah. Can you tell me where the difference between Perona's district and where like Luffy is and Hogback? And where they are. What do you mean with Hogback? Like, where's Hogback's mansion and where's Perona's quarters? Hogback's mansion is at the front. Yeah. Perona's mansion is like a bridge. Uh, up the top, right? Up the top. But it's, it's, all, it's all, like, connected and weird. It's not that difficult to understand. It's just, you get... Just yeah, everything's the, a bit the locations of the... Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that's kind of problem. weird that's how, problem. like, the gang, the, the Lola's crew turns up at the end. We maybe could have had more... We'll start started that a bit early. Start that out a little bit. Maybe started it. We started it early, but it kind of just disappeared. Yeah. Maybe start that out. Why are they on there? Like, what have they been doing? Yeah. What do you think about the choice to have individual fights for everyone? For like, four, three characters. And then we go have a massive team combo, fight. combo team fight. 
What are your thoughts about that? It's it's good. It's fine. So I feel like that's what's going to happen. But extended the arc, and yeah. do, doesn't turn into anything of real substance. Because the characters are good. Yeah. The the side characters, side villains are good. Sure. Mora is also shaky because he's like kind of like a nothing character. He's like, oh, I'm lazy because my crew got dominated by Kaido. Yeah, and we see in like Whole Cake Island, this, the an underling can be one of the best characters in the arc. Exactly. Where's this, the underlings? You know? The other leagues are great. Like, Rob Lucci is cool. That's all he needs to be. Yeah. You hate Absalon in this arc. You want him to get defeated, but he never gets defeated. You never get the finishing blow. You never get the satisfaction. You do, but it's kind of like... This is my thing with, like, Sanji's rapid fire kicks. Yeah. They don't... It never feels anything to me. Like, it never really... Nah, yeah, you mind. It never really feels like anything's happening. Yeah, you mind. With the the Spectre. I would prefer the mutton shot... Yeah, I also, or, he does want to shot him at the end through the wall. Yeah, but I need, like, just a fucking... But it doesn't knock him out for good. Like, the first hit when he does, like, the concussor, like, he t- just teleports and kicks him in the head. Yeah. And how he likes to do, like, the foot on his next to his face and then get a kick. Yeah. I feel more power from that than the Spectre. Sure. That's my problem with Sanji's moldy hits. There needs, there needs to be a finishing kick at the end for this to work. Yeah, I need the combo. I need the you'd starting kick, Spectre, and then the finishing combo kick. Yeah. With power, like the anti-matter shot or whatever. Whatever the fuck. Yeah. So, overall arc ranking. Review. Out of rating. 10, I don't know, it's a hard one. Because there's such good moments, but such weird plot stuff. Sets up, sets one. up, everything else, why not hype, Now, Yuma. you gave Skypeer an 8. Yes. Is this better than Skypea? <sighs> Villains in Skypea are very weak as well. That's true, but are they annoying and frustrating? Yeah, Sartori is. Yeah, Sartori. That's probably about it. Sartori is the most annoying. Yeah, the snake thing's weird. Luffy, getting, uh, Luffy doesn't get trapped for long in this arc. Luffy's up and about. I... S- Better moments than Skypea. More memorable moments. More memorable sure. moments than Skypea. Would you say that's the same I'd say they're on par. So 8 out of 10, you're going to go. Yeah. I'm going to also go 8 out of 10. I gave Skypea a... Skypea's more consistent. Yeah, Skypea's more... That's the problem with this arc. It's just... Skypea's like straight like... You know, like that. Yeah. And then... Little bark just like... All over the place wavy. Where they kind of average out to be like the same. It might, I think anyway. Yeah, because they like here's the thing with Tula Bark. It's it like starts slow and then it just bang out of the game. It starts slow with intrigue and you're interested in the whole back stuff, but that doesn't really go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere and it just blasts out of the gates for like and three then we're volumes. Fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting for like three volumes. What is this arc about? You know. Yeah. They, so, they always end up back at the sunny. They end up the, at back at the sunny like four times. It's kind of like a back to square one, back to square one, back to square one. Yeah. It's, it's weird. There are great moments with with, with bad moments, like annoying moments no. in there. It's kind of a kind of a weird kind of You make you make more and more involved in the arc? Yeah. You cut fucking You, you take Absalon back. you take Absalon's whole waiting thing out. You actually maybe actually pay off Hogback. Yeah, do a powerful. And then we're getting into a good, getting into one of the best. Well, it's it's not a top ten arc. It's a great arc. Very good moments. Good mo- memorable mo- moments. Very good moments. Some of the most memorable moments in the in the series, Christian. I'm gonna have to go. You already you already said an eight. An eight. Yeah, oh. I think that's about right. There we go. We gave. What did we give Kuro? A six. <laughs> Kuro sucks. I think we did the entirety of his. Oh yeah, though. entirety is put on like a seven. Seven. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. Well, not the entire... Up until Kuro. Yeah, up until Kuro. Because then we did... Oh, it's like Park, the first five volumes. Great. Yeah, Arlen Park's great. Yeah, 8 out of 10. There you go. Thriller Bark. Uh, heaps of wild hype. V- yeah. V- hype, weak villains, weak, weak characters. That's yeah. that's the thing. Yeah. All right. Shall we get into bets while we're here, Christian? Yes. Now, last week was how many skull jokes were there going to be in this arc? I said 12, Christian said 15, the answer is 17. Oh, uh, win. Not far off the money this time. No. But I Brooke mean. came out swinging. 
with the skull jokes. He did. Five in one chapter. Uh, at the, yeah, at the end. Heaps. There we go. Christian on five, me on six. I'm He's catching, catching him. I'm catching him. Now, next bet for next week. We've got a chapter, thank the Lord. Yeah. How many panels will be in this chapter, Christian? All right. This, this is testing this. your knowledge. What are we doing here now, with this phone? We're testing. We're, we're getting the calculator out. Because uh-huh. I need to do some calculations. We're getting the calculator out. Alright. Let's say that... He's going to try and get an average and see if he can find it. Now, panels defined, Christian. Uh, panels? It's not hard to fucking figure out. There are transitional panels that are counted. Because they are technically panels that are separated. No, they don't count. Because they're the same image. But they, they, are, they are split panels. They're not panels, they're split panels. So no no transitional way. panel. No, they count as one. Okay. Right? Just uh, clearing up the specifications. Yeah. So, I don't know, you go first, mate. You go first. I'm trying to find this fucking calculator. <sighs> Alright. This is the thing, how many double page spreads? 19 pages, we can say. Including double pages. Sure, because two. that's a problem. Double page spreads, there's like three panels in those double page spreads, Christian. Uh, not always. Sure. It's about but average. I would say average seven, eight panels a page. Yeah, times 19. Maybe. Uh, let's go with the round 100 panels. 100 uh, panels. 85 panels. 85 panels. Well, I'm going to go a little lower because I expect double page spreads at the arsehole. Yeah. This, this is going to be two. funny if there's like 20 panels. All right. We're going to go. Well, I'm going to say there's an average of six panels per page. All right. And we're going to go that times 19. We're going to go that times 19 and we're going to get 114. 114. Yeah. Is that what you're going with when you expect the, the double page spreads? It's six. It's six panels average per page. I don't think there's nineteen pages in a chapter. That's the average without double page spreads. All right. So you're gonna say what? So what are you locking in? One hundred fourteen. He's locking in one hundred fourteen. What's Eric gonna go? I already said eighty five. Eighty five. Let's see what the average that is. Clear. We're gonna go nineteen divided by eighty five. Oh yeah. Eighty-five, right by nineteen. Four panels per page. Four. I'm expecting huge panels. Of Four Kid panels together. per page. Okay. I'm expecting multiple things to happen. Four to five pages. Ah, uh, four to five panels per page. Christian, if there's like four double page spreads, you start to sweat a little bit. Uh, you forget the mini panels and the fact that there's sometimes ten panels per page. Depends. Depends what we see. 114. Because we're going to display... Ki- My prediction is that we're going to display kids' powers. We need big panels. We won't even see kid. We might cut somewhere else. That's true. Yeah, that's true. It's always the same thing with this bullshit. We don't know. Alright. It's just a guess. That's the best. What's thing. next, Christian? Uh, next, have stronger shanks. Every week, we come to you with the question of how sugar shakes. And every week, we answer Shanks is the strongest, Shanks is the god king. But, there are people out there who think Carlos is the strongest. You think? Drag is the strongest. <sighs> that thing. Ibu is the strongest. Liquid cancer. <laughs> but Chase is the strongest. Every week we come with 100% factual evidence. But why Chase is the strongest? This week's evidence. Shanks. Shanks is shadow. We make you stronger than Kano. If your shadow was being taken by Moria. Sure. No and Shanks is infinitely powerful. His shadow is also infinitely powerful. Yeah. Huh? Unfortunately, there was no one 
in this universe, he could take Shanks as his shadow apart from himself. So if Shanks dissolved his own shadow, it would be the sum of all infinites times two. That's how strong Shanks is. Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the gold, gold king. king. Uh, next, top of the show. Don't the show. Luffy, why not half train? The longer waited. Here we are, Christian, end of the series. We land on Luffy. Now, how many fights is he get? Three? Define me the fight. Uh, defeats an enemy with or without someone's help. Uh, well, he's already got two. If you're going to define it. Okay, right. well, uh, this is, I say, continuing on. I mean, if he takes that goose, that's not a fight. All right, we're talking about headliners and shit. Not even. We're talking about commanders. Commanders, kind of strong samurai, strong samurai, top dudes, well, the supernovas. fucking the jail master. All right. Whatever. First of all, how are we get out of this prison? Luffy uh, can team up. Well, we need the keys. True. We need to get out of these cuffs. We need the keys. Unless Luffy can beat someone's head in with it with the cuffs on. Sure, but we still need to find the keys. Sure. We need that intel. We need to get out of here. There were going to be a jailmaster with said keys on him. But surely we have to fight this jailmaster. Yes. Eventually. So, first fight is either with the jailmaster. They're going to beat the jailmaster while in Seastone c- prison cuffs. Sure. Okay. Luffy and Kid team well, it up. They bust out the samurai. The, the Loki legend. Yeah, alright. Whoever the fuck's in this cage? So, Christian, we 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 think there's going to be a jailmaster or whatever. Yeah, is it, is it a supernova, is it a calamity, or is it just a dude? It would be fucking crazy if it's a calamity. Yeah. Kid, Luffy, and Mystery Man versus... They get the job done. They get the job done. Two supernova commanders. Yeah. Both have conquerors. We have the Mystery Man, who's apparently hyped. All right. Been there for years. Still not dead. They're both mad. They're both mad. They both want to get Kaido back. Yeah. Let's, let's kick the shit out of this fucking commander. All right. Now... Did Luffy get a power up after he got one hit by Kaido? Because of the conquerors. Oh, right. I don't, don't even bother about that. Yeah, you... let's, uh, maybe he did. Maybe he did it. All right. So did if in my mind, they defeat this fucking jailer pretty easily. They escape, and then we're gonna train for two weeks, or a week and a half, or a week. Or maybe the escape is a training course. That could be true. Right. Maybe in a twist of fate, the the work is so hard on Luffy, he trains himself. All right. With the sea stone cuffs on, which is some sort of... Training his base. Training his base for training his base strength. Yes. Because of the strenuous work of the factory. Uh-huh. He gets stronger. He becomes immune to sea stone. Uh, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Just like Kaido. Sure. Uh, yeah, so... I can imagine them just destroying this fuck. Getting out. They're going to destroy the entire factory and gain all those men for their army. Now... Let's let's just skip forward to the war. Kaido fight. No, maybe. Alright. We still got Clear Jack, Goods, Jack. Other calamities. Other calamities. Whole heap of shit. Yep. Now. Luffy needs some sort of power up. Alright. Uh he's gonna train for a week. Surely. Surely he trains, he gets a new gear four power up, gear thing. He's gonna show that off before Kaido. Yep. So maybe it's a calamity fight during the war. Okay. He gets fucking every fight. Because yep. he's Luffy. Yep. A little training fight. Maybe he decisively defeats Jack. So we know. He's at least commander level. Okay. Christian. At least. Just mid, low diffs Jack. So we know how strong he is. Low diff. Well, we're going into the Kaido fight. Alright. We don't have time for Jack. Alright. We don't have time for Jack. Alright. Get him out of here. Luffy has to go in and just start wrecking shop. Yep. Prove to us that he's ready for Kaido. Because a lot of people, including myself, say he's not ready for Kaido. But he needs to be ready for Kaido because Kaido's gone down this hard. Uh-huh. Uh, so, uh, does he fight a cal- calamity, gets stronger because of the, the battle? Uh, you know, if you're in life, the fighting battles, you get stronger. Yep. All that kind of shit. Maybe. Maybe Luffy blooms his hockey against the commander. Gets mm-hmm. even stronger. 
so he can do some serious damage on Kaido. Who knows? So after that kind of like mid arc fight, we assume he goes up against Big Daddy Kaido. Now, multiple options for this fight. Sure. That we've talked about extensively on multiple podcasts around the place. Every week. Every week. We're talking about how Luffy's going to be defeat Kaido. Yep. Now, after rereading Thriller Mark, the Nightmare Luffy can get the job done. Nightmare Luffy, 5,000 shadows. Strong Samurai, throw him in there. Kid Shadow, throw him in there. Zoro, Zoro Sanji, Sanji. Nekomamushi, Inorashi. It's an insane power up. Insane. Sure. Is 10 minutes enough? Plus gear 4. Kaido's getting baby shaked. That's, that's, that's fucked up. Becomes the strongest being in the world. How does Wado not get destroyed? How does Wado not get destroyed? I don't know. But this power up's gonna be absolutely fucking insane. Yeah. As we see in Thriller Bark. Alright? As we see in Thriller Bark. He's throwing around with oars with his hair. He's fucking him up. Like, Sanji's strongest attack, like, Diflexi's yeah. attack. And Luffy's just throwing him around. Like a ragdoll. So, this power-up's massive. Is it times five? Is it times ten? Who the fuck knows? Because it's not a hundred shadows. It's not going to be a hundred shadows. No. No. It's going to be a The entire thousand. army just shadows. Right. All the army just absorbed into Luffy. Yeah. Uh, some people might not like that because Luffy's not beating Kaido on his own merits. But to those people I say, what's the difference between that and the spirit bomb? There's no difference. What's the difference? Can you tell me the difference? No. Because there's no difference. If you fight with the spirit bomb... You you really hang up on this Moria as to be the answer, Christian. It's as simple as answer. It's too obvious. And that's why Oda might not do it. Alright. But do I I want to see Kaido get nerfed? No. Because this is Kaido's fight. This is Kaido's only fight in the series. He's getting defeated. Okay. This is the only fight he's going to have... What, like, massive fight that expands ma- long chapters. Sure. And we need to see Benny's full power. You can't just nerf him, because it the question's there for the rest of time. What if Kaido was at his full strength? What if Kaido was this? What if Kaido was that? Yeah. Now, if Luffy gets the power up, we're going to have questions on Kaido. Because we're going to know how strong Kaido is. So that's the problem. I don't want Kaido to get nerfed, so I think the Nightmare Luffy situation is, is, is a good solution. To the problem. As soon as we see Moria, the cat's out of the bag, though. Oh, it's done. It's done. Uh, also, the combo fight with all the Supernova, Kid Law. We can have both. Uh, Hawkeye. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it if it's handled exactly like the ore situation. Yeah. Uh, there's a combo fight. Supernovas are trying their best. They're working out Kaido's weakness. They're working out how to fight Kaido. Uh, they, they're getting pushed back. They're, they're pinpointing getting, his knee to, they, to slow him down. Yeah, they, they're doing all these kinds of things to slow him down. Uh, but they're getting pushed back. They're starting to lose. Luffy goes... Nightmare Ultra, whatever. Yeah. Gear 4. Starts laying the damage on Kaido, weakening him. Uh, Luffy goes out of the Nightmare form. And then Kaido's in a weakened, kind of battered state. Yeah. Which allows the crew... To do a final combo attack and pull Kaido down. Okay. With Luffy doing the final hit. With some sort of King Kong fucking bazooka right to the face. Breaking Kaido's spine. There we go. So. There we go. The only problem is Moria this. getting there. And, you know. There's no problem. He can fucking turn. He's got connections to Wano. Alright. He's a rival Kind of. But as soon as Moria arrives, the cat's out of the bag, and that's no fun. That's right? the problem. The surprise the, the surprise element is the problem. Yeah. Everyone expects Nightmare Luffy. Yeah. Because of, of Thriller Bark. Everyone expects Nightmare Luffy. So will Oda do it? That's the question. We haven't even talked about Hawkins' ultimate god card. Yeah. That will boost Luffy's fighting power. Unlock his potential. It's some sort of god situation where yeah. Luffy goes fucking garp mode right. and becomes yoked and 40 years old and turns into shanks yeah. so there you go we'll see Christian Luffy, Luffy in, in a few years he's gonna get heaps of fights Connor's going down this arc I don't care who the fuck you are what's Marco's message to Luffy 
uh, I know the ultimate secret to Kano. Yeah. Or I know the ultimate secret to Awakening. Okay. Or something like that. Who knows? Who knows? So that's that's Luffy. He's gonna get a, a, a fucking. The, he's gonna get the, all the fights. Yeah. He's gonna get the last the, fight. The main character. He's gonna get the final blow on Kano, and they're gonna win. Gonna get some sort of power up. That's it. Done. All right. What's next, Chris? The quit the power square. The power square. <sighs> what yeah. What do you want to do, Christian? I have. A special surprise in store for this week's past game. Alright. People out there, up in arms last week about Koala. Alright. A certain individual upset about Tashigi's placement. We're doing it. Rescaling of Tashigi. Oh my god, why are we doing it again? Rescaling of Tashigi. Alright. Last time, we did not take into account the Rokishi. She has Rokishi stars. Alright, alright. Alright? But what does that mean, Christian? The, the... She can Soru, she can fucking teleport. But, what? The owls are still there. The owls are still there, but will you agree that she could take Khalifa? Can she cut steel? Who knows? That's that's not the who you're there. But let me let me inspect this low tier, alright? Low tier, Mr. One. Mr. One. I think she might add speed, Mr. One, due to you know how I feel about Rokishi styles, alright? You know how I feel about that. I know you love the and Rikishi. the haki and the paper art and the observation. She, Christian, she got bodied by Mo fucking Monet. I know she got bodied she by got Monet. Bodied by I know. Monet. I know, but you got to think, think about it with an open mind. I want you to clear your mind, right? <laughs> clear the mind. Oh, no, no. I think it's fair that she goes in low, high-low. Khalifa is in there. Khalifa. Nami be Khalifa in Water 7. This is post-time skip to Shigi. <laughs> with Rokishi Styles, with Haki... Who says they're better than Rokishi Styles and Khalifa? That's the, uh, Who she says? has Haki. Who says? She has Haki. Alright. I think she could outspeed Khalifa and get her with a sword attack. You only need one card to win in a sword battle. <laughs> Alright. Alright? I think Tashigi can get it done against Khalifa. Alright. Now. Comments on that. If you want to move her up, I can see it happening. But is this some silver nonsense, Christian? No, it's not. Alright? I thought about it on my own. I thought about it, and I'm like, this might be a little Now, what's your position on Rayleigh? Rayleigh stays the same! Alright. Alright? Because I've now, been over this a multiple of times. What you, I felt bad for Tashigi this well, week. While we're moving around, no. people on the, on the power scale, no. what are your thoughts on all of three readings? I think it's... I th that's a question for the topic. I'm not talking about Tashigi right, right now. Alright. Tashigi, with... I thought about it, right? Give, give me a case. The case for the Shiki going up the tier. Yeah. I think she could comfortably beat Khalifa. I think she's at least CP9 level. Now, in the law of One Piece, that's massive. Okay. Because the CP9, they're secret, they're all, no one beats In the story issue. right now, they're, no, they're, that's they're nothing. bullshit. In the story right now, they're nothing. Yeah. But at the time, they were, they were massive. Could I see Khalifa... Be replaced by a post time skip to Shigi in the Ark of Water 7. A swordsman, Rokishi Styles, high. She can, she's quick. She can do a whole bunch of stuff. I can see it happening. Taking that role of Khalifa. Equal threat level. Which is. You can see it happening. Yeah. You can see it happening. She doesn't have, she might, she doesn't have the devil fruit, but the devil fruit's not really a factor. Like, not that much of a factor in the fight. In a sword fight, sure. So I think it's fair for Tashigi to go up a tier. Alright. I think it's too low. I felt bad for Tashigi this week. So I think it's fair we move around. Shout out to your boy Silvers for getting what he wants. I mean... A pro time skip character in high-low. It's, it's still pathetic. Yeah, it's still real bad. But I think it's, it's fair. I think All it's right. fair, alright? Alright. I think it's fair. Alright. Alright, go. 
<sighs> what are your thoughts on Oz? Do you want to say that for some? No, nah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm comfortable with where he's at where because he's at? a big target. And Ace beats him, Bola beats him, Paris Barrett beats him, Daifuku beats him, Volkov beats him, Nekro Marouche beats him, uh, Eneru beats him, uh-huh. Capone. I mean, Capone's castle copped. Fucking big mama tags. Big mama tags. Yeah, okay. I'll give it to Capone. Frankie Shogun. That's it. That's an interesting fight. Maybe it could go either way. But like, Oven beats him. Josie beats him. Diamond just has going to beat that. I think Moria Asgard beats him. Vista. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'll give it to Vista. Okay. Yeah, nah, I think Oz is fine. You're going to remember... Uh, pacifist is fucking fucked the straw hats up. Sure, sure. You gotta remember. Sure, you gotta remember. It's fair. Uh, should we go Absalon this week or should go we? Absalon? Because that's an interesting pick. Absalon does not go down. He will not go down. He is the king of copy punishment. He comes punishment from Sanji. He comes a lot of fucking enraged Sanji. Talking punishment. about CP nine. Yeah. What do you think? I think Absalon has more defensive feats than... Iron Body? Than Iron Body. From the lower tiers. From... Bl- bl- from, from, yeah. From fucking Jabra. But Jabra's on, the, Jabra, yeah, Jabra's on the list. Sure. Does he go into uh, mid-tier? No, he doesn't have... Uh, he doesn't have the attack power. He's got guns. Sure. He's got... And, like, people with Haki are in this. Some people have Haki in this oh, list. The boss. <laughs> so they could sense his invisibility. Sure. Uh, Kawhi is hockey. So we're feeling low high at the moment. High low. Yeah, high. High low. I feel high low. Because of that fucking... That defense. Good defense. He just will not go down. Good ability. Good ability. Kind of weak attack power. Would you say? We never really saw him throw a punch. He, he, he uses guns. He's invisible guns. Yeah. But he's got go- gorilla muscles. So. He's got... Dest- he's got... He weighs 600 pounds. All right. It's because of that skin. Yeah. And the and the just the durability of, of Jabra. Alright. Not Jabra, he fucking beats, Absalon. Beats Pauly? Uh, yeah. Beats Duval. Yeah. Maybe Duval. Like Duval's got the, the range. Beats Bon Clay? Yeah, beats Bon Clay. Because of the fucking. Mr. One? Mr. One's always the hard one. Yeah. Because of his ability. Because of his ability. But I think the explosives could damage him. Okay. Cause like if you if you shoot, fucking steal and the enough, skin, might might help. Might the help tough him. skin will help him out. Yeah. Okay. Very high low. High low. He's, got, he's just got that durability. Tashigi reordered. To high low. Absolutely high. High low. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, questions. questions. Bardock, a.k.a. Andre. Yep. For the first question. For next week's question, Kwana Krusha. Hand-to-hand combat or sword play, which one do you prefer? Yes. Also, in One Piece, who is your favourite fighting style and why? Uh, I've answered this before, but favourite fighting style, Sanji. I love those combos. I love to see him. Sure. When are we going to see him again? Who the fuck knows? So you knows? prefer hand-to-hand than sword play? The thing with sword play is, one hit and you win. Because it's a sword. And it I didn't enjoy the, the Zoro Ryuma fight. Zoro Ryuma fight, very good fight. Yeah. Because it's an equal fight. Okay. Sword play, I don't think it's One Piece's strong suit. Because of the, the abilities. Yeah, there's a lot of, it's very straightforward. Yeah, so I think. You can't the, really get creative with sword play. I think the head to head is better for One Piece because of the crazy abilities yeah. that are involved. Yeah. You know, Luffy's the main character with the Gogo fruit, he's a head to head fighter. You know, Crocodile, okay. and fucking Navy character. And Sanji's Sanj, Sanj my favorite fighting style because I like to see those combos. They get me excited. I like to see them. Uh, he, he says you can also pick from a different anime series if you want, from who's your favorite fighting style. <sighs> Sanji's combo is still hype. But, like, other anime don't have fighting styles. You know, like, weapons. Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, I'm just trying to think. Like, what... This is like we do the big, big beam attack, or like 
We do a little bit of head to head. We don't really have a, there's, style. There's a few martial arts things going on. Early Naruto. Oh, the fight. Oh, uh, the um. Ah, oh, what the fuck's that? The dude from Kenjin with the 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 exploding mist fist thing. Where he like punches you yeah. and you just you disappear. That's a pretty cool fighting style. Okay. Can't remember what the fuck his name is, but yeah. yeah, that guy. There you go, Andre. Another question answered. OG perps. Do you think there'll be a 2v1 that... 2v1 final fight for Kid and Luffy versus Kaido? More than 2v1. But he asks. And the supernovas take out all the calamities and shit. Zoro defeats the Shogun. Yeah. With Sanji leading the Straw Hats against the other fodders. Sanji's so his plan is Kid and Luffy versus Kaido. Okay. Supernovas... Uh, big calamities. Supernovas big calamities. Zoro, Zoro defeats the Shogun. Sanji does that. Sanji and the rest defeat the fodder. Oh, everyone's getting in a fight. All right. Didn't encounter Nekomamushi and Urashi. Exactly. We got so Marco, many fucking characters. I think big the Mom, no, Navy, Kid and Luffy on their own defeating Kaido makes no sense. They need they need assistance. They need a power up. They need they need know, massive assistance. Nightmare Kid, Nightmare Luffy. Whatever. Well, they need something. There we go. From Silvers. After reading through the bark and knowing the extent of the power scaling, yeah. do you think Moria and Oz were misplaced in terms of strength? No. Perfect. I think they're good. Perfect. Perfect. The thing you got to remember with Moria is Silvers. He's a lazy fuck. And the Asgard. Don't yeah. forget the Asgard form. I think he wants to move them higher, though. Every time someone brings this up that are misplaced, he wants to... Moria, to Moria's placed higher. fine. That's what I'm saying. He can't go up higher because he's a lazy fuck. Yeah, he's a lazy fuck. If he wasn't a lazy fuck, there would be a fucking question. All right. He's got heaps of techniques. Oz, yeah, we already discussed Oz. Yeah, I think it's placed pretty well. Jacko D. Dragon. What do you think of Glowing Eyes? Piece oh, at the this end fucking of bullshit. Thriller Bark is, Christian. It's not Zoro, because that makes no sense, because the head is on the leg. It doesn't make sense. Could be Zoro. It's not Zoro. Could be. It's not. Could be leaning down, Christian. Where's the head? It's just a fucking pillar. And it's missed, Christian. Things get fucked up. It's, a, it's like three pillars. All right. What is it? Who is it? Is it the mystical gods of the verse? Is it the lady of this, the ocean? Is it the offering that they sent out, Christian? To summon the gods? Summon the gods! That's a theory. The gods of the sea. Alright. Who the fuck knows what it is? Sea creatures could be? Will we ever find out? No. Just People like to think it's Zoro. It's not. But whatever. Return the slide returns, Christian. He does. A new character is introduced with a weapon entirely made of sea prism stone. What do you think of that? And what would you want it to be? We already got Smoker. Sure. But he says that he, what if a new character? Christian, what, what weapon? What weapon would you want to be made out of sea stone? Sword doesn't make sense. <sighs> but what is sea stone? Is it just stone? Is it metal? It's like, just stone. It has uh, to be stone. It's uh, like uh, hard stone. Like stone swords don't work. Sure. Uh, a mace? I don't know. Well, kind of. A hammer? A hammer, yeah. A shield, maybe? Shield. Armor, yeah, maybe. shield. Maybe a, maybe a giant, like, spike ball and chain. Okay. You can see that. Chain chomp? Yeah. Light ruler. A characteristic of people with conquerors hockey is that they have strong wheels. Yes. Is Kato misreading... Uh, is Kato messing up by trying to break Luffy and Kid's will and then instead helping him get stronger with conquerors hockey? Uh, yeah, he is messing up, but you got to remember that Kaido doesn't people, read the series. Hang on, people got to remember, Conqueror's Haki cannot be trained. It only grows stronger th the more you grow stronger. I think he's like, is but Kaido yeah. messing up by not killing Luffy? But he's also saying, uh, will this instead helping them, they're getting... And yeah, they'll train, well, yeah, whatever. Conqueror's Haki. People, I think people forget that you actually can't train Conqueror's Haki. It just gets stronger as your Haki gets stronger as it goes on. And there's no real, like... Yeah, it's not like observation or whatever. You can't trade it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Kaido's messing up, but Kaido doesn't read the story. And he's also trying to get strong dudes. He, we want strong dudes on his crew. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, yeah, you have Conqueror's Haki, but, I mean, Katakuri I'm, was... But I'm Kaido. Yeah, but I'm Kaido, and I'll break your will. Yeah. yeah. Phantom D Saint. Phantom D Saint. Yes. Right. This was my question. You guys got missed by mistake. Okay. If I, if, 
You would like to see the worst generation members, other than Luffy, Law, Zoro, Kid, Killer, yeah. Hawkins, Apu, of course. So Blackbeard. So who who else would you want to see in this arc in the worst generation? Oh, uh, a Ar- Ar- Rouge. What are the, what are the options? It's like he a basically Ar- said no supernovas. So Blackbeard. A Ar- Rouge. Basically anyone who's not here. So Ar- Rouge. Blackbeard, Capone. Yeah. I don't want Blackbeard here. Uh-huh. I don't want to turn up. The three devil fruit things are fucking annoying. Yeah. So, you know, I don't want it to happen, but, you know, who knows? Yeah, a Rouge, because he's, you know, apparently he's got hype. Apparently, Rouge has hype. A meme turned into reality, Christian. I mean, he's, he's kind of got connections to Kaido. He was there. He maybe saw what happened. It's maybe he's, he's going uh, after him. Uh, you can make the argument that, oh, yeah, he right. turns up. We haven't seen him in the New World yet. Like, when's he going to turn up? Sure. Uh, fucking Albath? He's kind of in the New World. You yeah, haven't, you know, he's not in the Super We haven't Donna. seen him with Luffy. Bonnie, but she's on her own mission. Yeah. Uh, Capone might could have tailed the Straw Hats. Okay. Who fuck knows? Yeah, I think Capone's done, though. Yeah. Josh Vega. Eric, your, your Sato's on cold streams. Defend slash shit on him for saying that Sa- San Juan Wolf is a plot hole because he's standing in water. King, that he's a giant. He's not fully submerged. And he's a giant. Yeah. So his size isn't relative to his devil fruit. He only gets bigger with his devil fruit. Yeah, I think his problem is the water. He's yeah, but in water. I think he's. I think the thing is that he's standing in water, right? Yeah. But he's, he should be smaller because his devil fruit won't be activated. Doesn't have water works with devil fruits. We've been over yeah, this so yeah. many fucking but times. No, it's not a plot hole. He's just very large. We've been over this so many times. And you can still walk, you can still move water around. Water does not negate devil fruits. You can as still walk. Is Arl- in Arlong Park. And he's not drowning in water. He's, he has his head above it's water. It's like partly submerged. Yeah. As we see in Arlong Park. As we see in as we see the in movie in Fishman the bathhouse. Island. As we see in Fishman Island. Luffy's still active. He can still move. If Luffy can still stretch underwater. And so one who complains about the water. Yeah. How he's uncomfortable. Christian, that's it. That's yeah. all the questions. What a massive... Massive episode this week. Here we are. Massive episode. It's a, it is the longest episode, maybe. Perhaps. We'll find out in the edit. What do you want to say, Christian? What do I want to say? Uh, Next we, week? Uh, we're a chapter. Exciting. Very exciting. Uh, maybe we get... Anime is getting spicy. Too long. We didn't talk okay. about the anime. All right. Uh, too long. It was all right. It was all right. Where's Natoshi? Too busy doing the movie. That's my theory. The bar- the Broly movie. No, busy doing the One Piece. One movie. Piece movie, because the Broly movie is CG and garbage. The Broly movie looks okay. Disappointing. People are getting hyped for no reason. Because Broly, he's a big muscle man with no character, but you know. All right. Uh, what's your JoJo show? It's called All Good. Uh, Goes again interesting, which is great. Uh, what's the secret word? What is the secret word? Uh, Absalon sucks. I mean, people could just say that, you know. Uh, Cindy, Sindri. Let's say, let's say Sindri. Sindri. No one's gonna say Sindri. No one understands Sindri. No one's gonna bring up Sindri. Yeah. Uh, Sindri. Yeah, alright. That's the secret uh, word. Yeah. The most forgettable character. And the most explained character in the backstory. Weird is ba- dumb. <sighs> Thrill Park. Alright. Pros and cons, Christian. Pros and cons. Uh, Rate, we... review, subscribe if you get this far. Uh, hello me. to you little fucking subs. There we are. If you got this far, I saw you stick around. Hero. Yep. Alright. Shanks is good. Shanks is good key. Too long. Uh.